That was the button. Hello, everyone, base of here. Welcome. Okay, it's just the game very quiet. Welcome to Pyre. Aha, I am floating above it. Um, this is a game by a uh, beloved uh, studio that I love. Um, it's by Supergiant Games. Yeah, I'm hoping Can it's have, uh, amazing uh, because all the other games, games are fantastic. What's going on, Birch? Welcome to the stream. Um, I thought it was a card, like a deck-based game, but apparently not. Am I dro- I better not be dropping frames. Heck you, OBS. Why you gotta be such a pain in the ass? What's going on, Space? You guys are popping in right on time. Hey, well, actually, I'm even I technically know. early. Yeah. So you guys are popping in early. Welcome to the stream. How you guys doing? How you doing, Jaden? Jaden's being naughty. She, like, we came down, and she literally peed right at the foot of my chair. And I was like, oh my god, are you serious? Thank goodness, the like my my mat my chair mat is the glass one, but like she peed just on the edge. I'm like, oh, it's gonna be so hard to get anything that's like got under the carpet. So I had to like rush and get stuff to clean it up. Pain in the ass. Yeah, more cookie. I go cookie for you. Snack ones. Want this face? There's this face. There you go. There's face. Right up in her grill. There. There's Jaden. Eh. She's like, no, stop. Stop chasing me, paparazzi. Paparazzi. <gasps> She's a paparazzi. That's what she is. What's up, Karen? Welcome to the stream. Everyone popping yeah. in. Whoa. There's some fish eye going on. All right. She's moving around too much. You're being obnoxious. You're being obnoxious. That's what she was doing. You're being obnoxious. And yes, yes. You played Inquisitor today and really liked it. Did you? Well, you'll have to join us when we play on one of these weekends. It's pretty fun, huh? Uh, what class did you play? Um, so I actually know very little about this game. Actually, I don't think I know anything about this game. I thought it was a deck builder. It's not. So I think I might have got it confused with uh, Slay the Spire. Which is not by Supergiant. But the names have the ire part into it, so I think my brain just went like and crossed some paths or something. But we're gonna give a shot. Apparently, there's a versus mode. Um. Okay. New campaign. Uh, we'll do standard. Wait, do they not fight back on reduced? Your adversary shall hold back. That's nice. Do you their worst? So be favored by the stars themselves. Rude. Free text. Hold space to rush story events. Subtitles, yes. Aim assist. Well enabled, hold right click to automatically lock onto nearby adversaries in the rights. I'm going to keep that off for now because I'm playing with keyboard and mouse, so I don't know if I'll need it in adversaries. But uh, we'll find out. What's going on, Sabrina? Welcome back. Thank it's good to see you. you. Friend. Has anyone else played this game? I love super giant games, so I'm fully on board with whatever is in store for us here. Am I supposed to push a button? I was supposed to push a button. Also, I couldn't uh, make this game go through a different audio channel so it has to come through all like all my alerts channel so if i have to turn up the game i'm gonna blow out my eardrums with alerts your days in the downside brought slow lonesome agony what is this organ trail now as you lie yielding to the elements something rumbles into view three shapes emerge each clad in strange attire move cursor here oh the vast purgatory into which the commonwealth casts its convicts and enemies that have been known to return from the Forsaken Land. Okay, so if you guys are new to Supergiant, their art, their voice acting, and their music are always freaking incredible. And I'm already digging this this tune that's in the background. I don't know if I picked up, I'm assuming I did, just because I fully, like every game that I've played of Supergiant, I'm just like, this soundtrack slaps so hard. I'm 98% sure I picked up the soundtrack with this game too. If I didn't, I'm going to go pick it up just from this song already. Oh, I'm so excited. 
I don't even know what the game's about, but it's Super Giants, so I'm super excited. Which, by the way, Hades 2 just got announced in. Woo! Oh man, I'm so excited to play. What 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 are we kind of gonna call that? That's uh Confuse the Straight Simulator. Yeah, that I think that is a fitting name for it, right? Which, by the way, um, I believe Kim is gonna be playing that for the first time tonight. And I am insanely sick. Okay. Mmm. I'm liking this. Um, but she's going to be playing for the first time tonight. So if she is playing it tonight, we're absolutely <coughs> going to go raid her so we can all gush over all the hot people in that game. Yeah? I'm super excited. I've had severe abdominal pains while be skulking in the background. Or skul sulking. Please feel better, Sabrina. You know, drink some water or something. Do whatever you need to do. Take care of yourself. Put a heating pad on the tummy. I hope you feel better soon. Whoa! You're cool. Masked woman. Oh, you know what? I should totally put a voice effect button on my stream deck where I can select a woman voice. Because the woman voice with the voice mod is so much better than I can make with my GoXLR. Another piece of filth expelled from the Commonwealth. A proud country risen from the ashes of a fallen empire, home to a multiple multitude of ethnic groups founded on principles of mercy and kinship, whose exact meanings evolved through many centuries. Whoa. It's like they're like painted. It's really cool. See, right on schedule. What did I tell you? Masked something. You told us we would find someone alive. Someday, I, I said I, we'd find someone alive someday. Just not today, I guess. But don't be so glum. You know, I see you frowning underneath that mask. Looks like he's breathing. The mask wanderers presume you are male. Interact to change this. That's super cool. Looks like he's breathing. Yeah, I'm a me. I'm a he. It seems he still is. And stand aside, I shall send him to a better place. Are you just coming to murder me? Why? He's a he? Can you just... Can you people just tell? Hang on. The mark is on his rags. I think he's one of them. But look at him. He's beyond our help, and we are beyond his. Yeah. Broken, shaking, starving, probably diseased. Yeah. Good luck with that there, chum. See you back at the wagon. <laughs> Indeed. The day grows dim. You have a best... You have at best an hour. Understood. I won't be long. After the other leave, others leave, the man turned towards you and begins unfastening his mask. Oh, I thought, I thought that was just their face. Hello, my friend. Don't care what, don't care who you are, what you did. None of that matters anymore. All of us, we're equal nothings here. You are parched and he gives you a drink. You ache and he binds your, your wounds. You hunger and he gives you food. Little by little, it helps. There. Turns out you're tougher than you look. Name's Hedwin. Now come on. Hedwin, he is one of the three masked wanderers who found you clinging to life in the downside. You sense no ill intent as he helps you up and leads you to an old back black wagon. Nothing like the stately vessels that parted or paraded Commonwealth criminals through the alabaster streets. Hedwin beckons you to enter the black wagon. Ooh. This is cool. The weather-beaten wagon is as much a mess inside as out. You see the masked woman and the talkative creature taking stock of ancient-looking books. I'm back. And with a guest. She loosens a clasp on her mask. Whoa! They have horns! I don't know, how do I be one of her? You can call me Jodrio. Jadario. Jadario? That sounds better. She's the most imposing of the three masked wanderers who found you clinging to life. Yo, you're awesome. And as for myself? The small one struggles with his mask. Jadario soon assists him. It's a dog! Oh god, you look like a Five Nights character. I don't like it. Oh! That is to say, you may regard me by the name of Ru Rookie Greentail. He's the smallest 
yet loudest of the three masked wanderers who found you clinging to life. Such pleasant streets out of the way, the horned woman then motions to the others. She glances at you sidelong as she speaks. Can he do it? I like your voice. Hope so. I haven't asked him yet. What? Then what are we waiting for? Hey, chum. Nice meeting you all, but tell me something. You know how to read or what? Oh. Am I a reader? One who can derive meaning from text. Literacy has been prohibited for centuries. Those with knowledge of the old ways violate the law of the land. Ooh. You'll hear a lot of Hades sound effects and voices too. They uh, reuse a lot of the, the voice actors and stuff. You get... I, I, I understand if you cannot answer care, but I'm curious. Um, do you work with Supergiant a lot? Because, dude, hell yeah, and totes jealous. That is awesome. Am I a reader? Hey, guys, what do you think? They obviously are looking for a reader. Who you are, what you did to earn your sentence is no one's business but your own. It is a serious crime. No one in his right mind would dare violate the law of the land. Over time, you managed to learn something of the old ways in spite of Commonwealth decree. I'm going to remain silent. You stare back at Rookie, but say nothing in response. He stares back for several moments, then grows angry. Silent treatment, huh? Now, now, don't you play dumb with us here, understand? The dumb don't have those kinds of markings. Those are something else. We know what you are. Maybe I'm a reader. Reader, you owe us your life. We ask for something simple in exchange. Open one of those books back there and tell us what it says. Sorry to put you on the spot like this, my friend. Exiles indicate the book in their position. Sure, have a look. Their baselines are always really good. Only got on for the first Hades. Please, they're still unsure about the second. Oh, did you did you have to like apply? I'm assuming you uh, were doing it for translation and stuff again, yeah? You pick up one of the old and heavy volumes bound in materials you do not recognize. Whoa, forward. A formal welcome undersigned by the eight scribes. You, dear reader, are an exile of the downside, such as we, the eight who wrote this book of rights. That you possess it and have capacity to glean its words is testament enough to your potential. Thus, we reveal a path from the forsaken place to freedom, a homecoming and glory. The stars themselves shall be your guide. Their gu your guide. Ere the turning of the year's first solstice, seek the heart. The, hi the. What is that? Oh, nearest. That's not an H. That's an N. The nearest longitude beneath the brightest of the eight as they line as shown. Oh. Welcome back. Oh, the crap out of me. Your steadfast I'm loyalty the potato is thing didn't work. appreciated. Another month, another hug. So many things are happening. Why didn't the the snap cam thing work? It's it's enabled. It's a hundred percent enabled. Is the filter? The filter itself could be broken because I can't apply it. Alt num one. The uh yeah, I think Snapcam might be broken itself because it's not even changing in Snapcam. What the heck? Can I change anything else? I can't change anything. Oh, oh, uh, oh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm the Grinch, but I'm green. So I'm see-through. Okay. Okay. So those are working. The potato one is broken. Why is the potato one broken? Oh, and then I broke it. All right, we got to go find a new potato one. Hold on. That's annoying. Why is the potato one broken? Oh, God. All right, there's a potato one. It doesn't look as good as the other one, but at least it's working, right? 
Why did that one break? That's so freaking weird. I don't know. That's weird. Um, potato one. Alt num one. I gotta assign a button to it. Also, not that. I can't turn off the background. The heck. That's annoying. That potato one doesn't work either. Why do they just gotta stop working? That's so uncool. Oh my god, there's a Kratos potato. Hold on a minute. A potato. A potato. I'm a potato. Look at me. Look at that lovely beard. I'm a potato. Or poor Kratos. I like that one too. This is amazing. I kind of want this one. I think we should stick with this. We're doing this one for now. Is that okay? We're, we're doing Kratato. Because this is great. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Up. Oh, stay on. The, using this software is very obnoxious sometimes. But, eh. We're Kratatoed. I love it. All right, hold on. Jada cooking for you. Hey, thank you for the resub. Oh wait, did you did you did you kill Birch? Which I've totally forgot to shout out Birch earlier. Crap. Uh oh, where is it? Hold on a minute. I think I heard the death sound, right? I did grow a beard. What is up with the face? I'm a crotato, bro. Boy. Boy. I look great. What are you talking about? Look at this beautiful beard. Oh, wait. You guys can't see my hand. Here, my hand is just scrounging under the beard. Also, I don't know why, but my computer is having a problem. Its fans have been full blast. For like 40 minutes. And I haven't been doing anything. Well, I, I have. But like before that, I came downstairs and they were on full blast. I like the potato. It brings me joy. That is now the... That, that's, now, that's now the potato one. Just, just saying. Especially since it's fitting since we're playing God of War. Not now, obviously. But whatever. You guys know. Also, I didn't figure out how come the stream boss thing didn't show up. What the heck? Yeah. Yuri, you did. I don't know why you stopped showing up. Something's weird. You show up when you're there, but you don't show up when you're in the group anymore. What the heck? There. Now it's fixed. There we go. Now we know how to do it. Uh, it's new boss, but you got it. Yeah, you got murdered, Birch. Hold on. I, I did forget to shout you out, though, so... Birch, I'm so sorry that you've been murdered! I apologize. Going down here in like 10 seconds. Oh god, we're gonna get two alerts. Is that gonna work that way? I was gonna say, there's no way that's gonna work again. It did one of the overlays twice. That was pretty sick. Here, we'll, we'll get it for reals this time. There we go. Hey, we love it. Screen anything that makes you feel better. Hey, you know what? That's what she said. Anyways, I don't know why the the potato one didn't work, but I like the crotato. That one makes me even happier. Ow! <laughs> don't boo me, Birch. I haven't read anything. I forgot where I left off. Oh yeah, something about the stars. Arrive at 
a triumvirate clad in raiments of the rights bearing the book. Oblige in the voice that tells you more. Oh, that would have been so much easier to read with that. By the way, anyone that's popping in um, this weekend, if you haven't seen the Discord, we're planning on doing the watch party for Legend of Vox Machina. Don't know if it's going to be Saturday or Sunday. I'm leaning more towards Sunday just because I have to get up stupid early on Saturday. So we'll see how, how we're feeling. But we would love to have you because it's a great show. Brief instruction on when, where, and how to commence the rites. Close. The book describes a complicated method through which exiles can return to the Commonwealth. The words swim through your mind as headwind gets your attention. Well, friend, what does it say? But then your vision starts to fade and blur. You feel your body weaken and give out. Did you poison me? Reader. Dare you tamper with forbidden knowledge? It's a uh, voice acted. So soon after your sentence into exile. Tis true what the book says. You can be free again. Perhaps not you yourself but someone worthy of the privilege you witness why is he pointing at his junk the path toward salvation you witness the rights the one way to return to glory though in your case i hardly think it possible rude yet by the grace of the scribes it is my duty oh to you look at he's like he looks like a little lizard worked so it's true yeah but what now and where's the way to go you should be out there still for now we have to put our faith in him oh he could abandon us he won't you look up the three you look upon the three of them from beyond as headwind then calls out to you reader we aim to free ourselves we will not grow old and die in this downside now I swear to you, when we get out of here, you're going to come with us. But first, we need your help. Show us the way. Do you, Tony? We freedom. You focus on your men. You focus all your mental faculties to do as Hedwin asked. Is she holding the Bible out on him? A celestial orb falls from the heavens when the time is nigh. Use to plug. All right, I got it. Exiles conduct the rites as a triumvirate, for they must prove their trust in one another. Trust to pass the orb. In themselves. Hold space to pass to Rookie. The three must act Only one exile can move at a time. Hold sprint. Your exile's abilities are shown here. Oh. He's like a little lizard. I love it. Sprint until stamina is depleted. Plunge into the poison pyre. Oh, I can aim him. Into the flame is banished for a time. Huh? His or her cohorts must make do on their own. Oh, but it is not so simple. Who copies? In the rights, you shall face adversaries whose own freedom is at stake. Well, that's not fair. It's two v three. Where the aura that surrounds them, and they shall be where yours. To approach the adversary. Okay. Oh. The aura is your wrongdoing. Accept it as a part of you. Cast your aura like a stone. Hold to banish adversity. I'm confused. What are these buttons? 
Zing! Didn't do anything. There it goes. I love him. I didn't. I wish he didn't look so creepy. Zing! Just so. A glorious performance. I have no idea what I'm doing. More than I expected from the likes of you. Grasp the orb once more. Okay. The orb absorbs the aura. Then the orb quenches the flame. Oh, so I can't use my aura powers? I'm so confused. Oh, Rookie's back. Now snuff out the adversary's pyre whilst yours yet burns. Okay. Oh, snap. Oh, no, so I was trying to pass. Oh, you were slow. Oh, you're fast. Stay away from me. I'm going. Get in there. Jump. Ah! I did it. That was close. That is how you say Joe Dario. Sprint with. Try sprinting with. Blam. Yeah, you pick it up. What happens? Blam. Oh, how come you killed me? Blam. Oh, look at me go. Look at me go. I'm going. I'm going. Blam. Ah! You made it. Extreme you stand for the empire. Try sprinting. Okay. Am I winning? Too bad for that one. Okay. Don't you dare. I win. Eh. Woo! I'm speedy boy. No idea what I'm doing. I don't. Actually, I'm very confused still. This was but a glimpse of that which lies ahead. I would tell you to turn back. Cast down your hope. I'm assuming the bigger aura means that you can take out... Or you, if someone has a bigger aura than you, you can't take them out. Either way, it's only one exile on each side is permitted to move at any given time. The three must act as one. Okay. Also, the W to jump is going to really fuck me up. Because I meant... I'm used to space being hit. Others are still picking themselves up as you awaken. <laughs> well, that was something. Why well, you gotta look creepy? You look adorable on the field. That was our way out. So now we just follow the stars or what? Supposedly. Rita, come. Let us regard the night. It is sports ball. You're right. Jordara leads you outside where a clear night sky awaits. Now, show us before the Howlers catch our scent. Where shall the rites commence? Rites are an ancient trial competition through which the worthiest exiles regain their freedom. The eight scribes gave their freedom so that we may yet have ours. Prayer from the Book of Rites. You gaze at the star. Seek out your destination. Goal, the South Star. The South Star burns bright over the massive ridge of stone, much farther than the naked eye can see. Interact to determine the location of the next right. Star of the Moon, Stag Hunter. These bo those born under this are ambitious, though also discontented. Scorpius, the Olden Star. Star of the Old Cutter. Those born under this are wiser most. Dominion, the Olden Star. Star of the First Empress, those born under it seek knowledge and new experiences. Interesting. Okay. Ding. Hmm. You know what? We have to give her a voice because she just sounds fucking cool. Hold on a minute. We're going to go with... How's that? Does that sound cool? Maybe, maybe like that. There we go. Hmm. 200 leagues due east. 
The Ridge of Gold. According to the stars, the next rite shall soon commence here. The fossil remains of the serpent titan slain by the gold Golgothian yet loom over those living in, in its shadow. Great! And we're supposed to be there when exactly? Very soon, according to the stars. You should be able to arrive in time if you make haste. Then we best get started. <laughs> well, this ought to be good for a few laps, at least. What do you say, Jody? Jodario turns to you, studying you. Rita, do not deceive us. Pray we make good use of our remaining time. Try that. Secret headquarters? Did they say that? Crap. I didn't even catch that. What she means is glad to have you aboard, chum. We're counting on you, my friend. See you inside. Is that, um... Is Hedwin, is that... Uh, not Achilles. Fucking... Hades character. Why can't I think of his name? I want to say Asterius. That's not Asterius either. Zagreus. There it is. Freedom. The rights are the key. There's a lot to take in. Your, follow, your fellow exiles await you in the wagon. I'll join them. Oh, wrong window. <laughs> I was very confused for a second. You arrive in Downside Prairie, where the road ahead is forked. There's a lack of consensus about which way to proceed. One of the Downside's only verdant regions. It only gets less hospitable as you press further north. That's why. Oh, yeah. One of the new dice sets I made, I named uh, Verdant Bloom. I'm telling you, we ought to take the northern path. Got an associate holed up in the hollow route. I've got to pay a visit to, besides. Hollow route. The northern route to the Ridge of Gold goes through a small exile encampment. Every so often, tempests come and scour away the huts and hovels, but they always crop back up. Eye on your associates. Let's we head to Blooming Pool and avoid attention. Uh, that sounds cool. The southern route of the Ridge of Gold goes through a humid area pocked with hot springs. Runoff from the sand folds means no bathing in the springs, so they're just there to mock you. Cool. And he gets stuck in a bug while we're at it? The dispute continues as Hedwin listens for a while. What if the reader settled this? He marks the way. We get us there. He marks the way. We get us there. If these rites are meant to test our faith, then we'd best learn to trust the reader's instincts on our path. No second guessing him along the way. Can we all live with that for now? Lucky. Yeah, sure. If necessary. Then it's settled. Just point the way, my friend. The star's guide is through you. You may choose now choose a route towards your goal at certain junctures. Weigh the options. But this is green. Rookie knows someone here who owes him. Jadariel thinks she can find rare flora here. But I like Jadariel. Check your Discord when you get a chance. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Holy crap. You got a crap ton of channel points, my dude. Well, we were all posting our... Uh, our Twitch recaps in uh, the Discord if you want to. Everyone feel like uh, exposing yourselves. Feel free to post your Twitch recaps. It's fun to look at. I kind of want to go to the Greenway because I like Greenway. But I also... Rookie kind of freaks me out. But I want to go to the Blooming Pool because Jodario is... All We're going... I like Jodario. Look at our little wagon hopping along. I, you, I was the top channel points? Yes! Thanks for this so much for supporting the channel, my dude. I appreciate you. Dario offers to show you around Blooming Pool after she noticed you staring at the bogs and vegetation near the wagon. Soon something catches her eye. Observe. It shall pay for a half hour trip. You found a black bloom. It is quite valuable. 
It's Oregon Trail. The black wagon, gr wagon grinds to a stop at the base of the Ridge of Gold. Yeah, we read that. The others ask you to assist with making preparations for nightfall and the commencement of the right. Commence the right. Page revealed. The first exile. You reach the celestial landmark now to get everything and everyone prepared. Interact. You begin your first true trial. Your roving makeshift home in the downside. Interact or press C. Oh. Hello. Oh, there's stuff. Look at this boy! Oh my god. Drive him. The creatures such as this must have been bred to push the black wagon along. I love him. Look at this boy. You guys can see him, right? Exit. Oh. Bats? Kittens? Oh, I can turn them on and off. Nope, I can only turn them off. Old raiments. Colorful robes and ceremonial masks adorn one of the wagon's walls. You observe the masks and robes whose old engravings and embroidery suggest a formal purpose. Some of the garments are massive, while others are so small they find they might fit a child. Greentail family portrait. Reasonable likeness of young rookie with his mother and uncle. Oh my god, I love them. Oh, what's that? the heck you observe the man slumped in the corner of the wagon bearing some sort of strange or stringed 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 instrument you sense he lives but nothing more it seems important import in, inopportune to ask him about ask about him now you see the person that plays our music hey, get rid of them spider webs let's clean it up in here get out of your spider webs Edwin's cooking tins. What passes for cooking supplies to the downside? Edwin does most of the cooking. He's watching the sky. It made a sound. Oh my god, look at him! These are the most adorable thing. Wake up, sorry. What? Welcome back. Well, see, that Your one worked. Fast loyalty is greatly appreciated. I've been shrekted. Can't stay got to be at the work early, but to got to the moon give Jada all the cookies. Gotta give Jada all the cookies. Thank you so much for the continued support, Pancake. Jada, cook it for you. You'll get it. Thank you so much for the continued support. I appreciate you popping in, my dude. Please get some rest. Hope I hope your uh, early day tomorrow goes well. Oh. In the common room, you may review various notes and observations about your fellow exiles in the respective paths towards enlightenment in the rites. Enlightenment. Whoa. I don't know what I clicked to get here. He's a free spirit. He wanders the downside in search of a way to regain his freedom and return to his home. Throws his aura in a straight line. High jumps to evade adversaries. Runs much faster for a short time. Oh. He is the one who nursed you back from the brink after finding you in the downside. His genial manner suggests that life in exile has not yet broken his spirit. He wears a bronze clasp identical to that of Jodariel, suggesting the two of them may have met before their exile. He has not yet revealed what he did to earn his sentence. Masteries? What the fuck? Oh my god, there's a lot to this game, isn't there? Can be sold. How do I open her thing? She's a grim, long-time resident of the downside, grown accustomed to surviving here. How do I... Shit. No, no, no. How did I open that? Rita, Green Terror here was just complaining how you opted not to take us up the hollow route. What? Violet or Anthony second guessing back? endowment. Birch! Maru Maru Maru. What was that? Thank you so much for the 2,000 bitties. Jada cookie for you. That's a lot of bitties. Hold on. We'll, we'll get her some a couple quick. Where'd she go? 
Where are you disappearing to? Oh, she's under the desk. You want to go get them? Go get him. There's a pile. Go get him. She's like sitting right underneath my feet. Get him. There's like four of them there. Sniff, snurf, snurf. Oh, 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 get him. Get him them cookies. You just ate them all at once. Can't even savor them. I appreciate you, friend. You're far, you guys are far too kind to me. You get in it? Was that delicious? <laughs> just stares back. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. Um, where was I? Oh, what? Oh, I read that. Nah, I was only saying our chum's gonna have to keep on making the tough calls. Besides, just making sure we got something to pot off the next slug market find. Slug market is a crude trading post found on the downside. Commonwealth contraband sometimes finds its way <gasps> to the downside where it is traded and sold. And we have. Now let's focus on the task at hand. We have reached our destination and have much left to prepare before tonight. The two of them soon go about rummaging through the raiments and books strewn about the wagon, leaving into your own devices. Okay, how did I open that thing? Was it this? Shit, it was not. First exile, uh, inspect. In the world's, in the words of Gol, Golgothian, the master general, you know perhaps the thrice cursed name of Solian Myr, the emperor of Sar, the first exile, and my liege. This chapter concerns him and those who find found him in the downside. Each of us was sent to take his life, such was the hatred for him in and around his country. Yet we found Solium Mur, a man transformed in body, mind, and spirit, a man deserving as much more than mercy. In time, he named us all his scribes, and he became the eighth. It is my greatest honor now to share with you his deeds, to know his stories, to know the rights. Okay. How did I open that thing? Where was that? Jody's throw rug, fashioned from ho howler's hide, sends their ilk a clear message. Dodrial says not to step on it. How did I get that? Oh, there it is. Okay, her stuff is now showing. Can't linger, got some food coming. I appreciate the alert. Enjoy your foods. Appreciate you. She's grim, longtime resident of Downside and grown accustomed to surviving here. She throws her aura in a slow, thick line. Her she leap slams down, forcing back those in the vicinity. That's neat. Lunges forward in one swift motion. Oh, she's a demon sick. Oh, there's more of this. People survived in exile long enough to be transformed by it in body, if not in spirit. All are welcome here, save the demons such as you, from the sentencing of Chief Physician Orlek. Everyone served on the Commonwealth's blood border. Those who ex excelled remained. Clashes with the High Wing remnants were frequent, though the greatest wars had passed. Oh, neat. All right, well, I'm going to... Stripped of name, home, and title. They came from all directions towards the Commonwealth, where they last settled some of them. They ensured the High Wing remnants... Remnants never flew far from their mountain nests. Those who served in Blood Border were taught to always watch the skies. She seems to be responsible for the Black Wagon's security. Her future suggests she has lived in exile for much longer than the others. Her grim outlook and the fact that she still wears the bronze clasp of the Commonwealth Blood Border suggests a military background. Though what she did to earn her sentence, you do not yet know. Oh my god, there's so many stats! This attribute affects the damage dealt. It affects size. Like the size of the person? Oh, it's the aura. Actually affects speed. It affects banishment. Don't know what that means yet. Uh Rookie. Cur. Demon. No bad. Okay. He's a cur. Swift dog-like creatures known for their loyalty, optimism, and appreciation for the simple things. The Alpha Chiefs would later say their kind went soft no sooner than they joined the Commonwealth. He's a trafficker. Dealing with contraband for long enough can lead to making many strange acquaintances. What remains now of the Fallen Empire's old and tarnished currency is still of value to some. Is this driving you guys nuts that I'm reading all this? Because I'm like just consuming all the lore here. Banishment is their respawn time after they get taken out. Oh, with the, the auras. Cool. Thank you, Care. 
He's an opportunistic and well-connected cur still clinging to his once comfortable lifestyle. He throws his aura on a long thin line, hops up quickly to evade adversaries' auras, accelerates to high top speed. He seems to be the most well-connected of the masked wanderers who found you and knows something of the land. He has rather opportunistic disposition and his ostentatious clothing suggests a lucrative background in the mercantile business. Even still, you do not yet know for sure what he did to earn his sentence. All right, we're learning things. All right, we're gonna... Oh, oh that's the save symbol. Commence the right. As darkness falls, your fellow exiles stand together, clad in the raiments of the rites. The preparations are set, however, they think everything is still and calm. Soon they grow restless. Keep telling you there's nothing there. Nothing here. What a bunch of idiots we are. If we traveled all this way for nothing. I don't think we did. Look up. So why are they wearing, wearing masks? Was that just a design decision to make it easier to animate them? The goal of each right is to extinguish the adversary's pyre using the celestial orb that falls out of the sky. Frida, the stars align at last. You reach the ridge of Gaul at the appointed time, and your triumvirate is triumvirate. Your adversaries in the rights this eve shall be the accusers. Gonna accuse me for. Yet burns once the I might have to play this with controller. Shall step closer to freedom. Now let the rights commence. Okay. The stars are aligned and your pyre burns bright. Across from your champions appear several others also clad in raiments. Your adversaries in the rights. Everyone ready? Let's hope so. Be still. We have a visitor. The one whom she refers to steps forward. Oh wait, the one whom she refers to steps forward. At last, the Nightwings grace us with a presence. The name of the Triumvirate in blue. It seems your fellow exiles have assumed their identity. I see that the reports you devise have been exaggerated after all. Even I was beginning to think you were gone for good. Nobody moves, save for the man robed in gold, who unfastens his mask. Surprised to see old Lindell again. I trust you remembered my face, so you must have assumed never to see it again after last time. So he's confusing us with someone else, huh? He's apparently leader of the exile triumvirate you encountered in the Ridge of Gold. Never had I come so close to freedom, only for you to dash my hopes. Now! I and the accuser shall pay that aff affront. In exile, triumvirate clad in gold, their leader harbors ill will for something he thinks you did. He shoves his mask back on and takes position with his comrades. Why don't we just be like, it's not us, bro. It is time. From the shadows, you clutch the Book of Rights and focus on the task at hand. Am I going to suck at this game? I have this weird feeling that I'm going to suck. Get fucked, bro. We going, boys? Yeah, we scored. I'll just go. Hell yeah, bro. Fuck you think you're doing, bro? Can't go nowhere. Oh shit, that was the wrong button. Woo! We going. We going. No! Ah, uh, it's W. I pushed E. No, no, no. No, no, no. They're getting a the free shot. Fuck you. Nope. Oh, what? Oh, right. I can't use my aura move. I don't remember how to aura move. Blam! Oh shit.
No. Shit, dude, this is a pain. I'm not good at this. Let me in. No! They made it. Okay. Fuck you, bro. Blam! Yeah, get fucked. Oops. No, how do I, how do I, how do I target him? There it is. Fuck you. Oh shit. Okay, so I should be moving my dudes. No, wrong button. Woohoo! He's fast! <laughs> Alright. No, I shall not accept deceit from you again. Hear me, accuser. Stand your ground. Let your auras boil in rage. It seems that you have blustered the accuser. What, are they going to turtle up like bitches? We're getting there. They've hungered down. Fine. Then we shall disrupt their formation. Hold block to fling the orb into the pyre. Ah. Ha! Oh shit. Dicks, he caught it. Blam. The orb take it. Oh, dodge your shit. No! I pushed the wrong button. Fuck you. No oh, god, I'm bad at this game. Fuck you. That'll work. I'm bad at this game. Oh my god, we have more. Fuck you. Yeah, bro. Oh, she's slow. Dang. Get him. Woo. Oh, shit. Right. Can't run into it. Infinite. Oh, shit. He can't go in there. Fuck, bro. Woo! Go, buddy! Yeah! Let's go! He's not gonna let me do it until I fling it into the orb. Yeah, waste your shit. Oh, he jumped! You jump over the thing. Get fucked. Ah. Fuck. An asshole. No one's there. Oh, shh. I did it. Flinging the orb into the flames like that. You elude banish. How is it not done yet? Oh. And <gasps> whoosh. Uh... Two fur. I'm the best. Putting out your shit, suckers. Just once more. Will we dance? And hut. I'm best at this game now. You gotta bring the gold H. Yeah, I figured that out. I thought it was uh, I wasn't doing something wrong until I saw the like the little HP fire thing going down. Your deceit may have earned you a hall of victory, but know this: the accusers will not forget your wickedness. And when we next meet, you will rue the day. Yeah. Using words like rue, are you? Oh. The enlightened mm. can regain their freedom. We have withstood worse nights than this, though few are strange. They get experience. Choose a mastery for Jelario. Exiles gain enlightenment by conducting the rites or from certain events. Okay, so it's it's not based on like if they score. That's good. Choose a mastery. 
Sins of the Fallen Emperor, Rights, Masteries, Enhancing a Demon's Strength and Physical Prowess. As he fell into the downside, Solium Murr understood at last the consequences of hedonistic reign, enhancing a demon's spear and sheer force of will. The fallen Emperor Murr moved past his many failings as a man and achieved selflessness in exile. After banishing an adversary, Jodariel instantly recovers all her stamina. Yo! Interact to make Jodariel gain this mastery. Yes. Solarian Murr relinquished comfort, lineage, and title, yet still cling to life. After using a rush to lunge forward, Jodariel can rush again right away. Dude! Jodariel interact. Oh, Murr's most more ambitious predecessors subsumed one culture after another. This is nasty. Gains four presents. At the start of right, Jodariel's pyre automatically. Yo! Any adversaries banished by Jodariel take their. Yes! Jodariel can banish adversaries by flinging the orb into them. That sounds kind of great. When landing from a jump, Jodariel briefly stuns near adversaries, making them drop. For first seven seconds after saluting her adversaries, Jodariel deals an additional damage. Press T to salute during a right. Whoa, shit, that's a taunt. The demon scribe bestows his favor. Dude, there's a there's a lot more to this game than I thought there was originally. Let's to continue. Wait, did it Headwind not get anything? After the rights, the accusers disappear into the darkness. As you return to the wagon in the still night sky, you see a single star burns brighter than the rest, beckoning you onward. Holy crap, computer is just exploding. I'm sorry if you guys hear it in the, the background. <gasps> Birch, thank you so much. Oh, all you guys in your lovely posts. I appreciate you all. There's great streamers on there. I am honored to be among Blizz and Moira and Shalaluya. They're all great. Kara, I don't know who the, the streamers that you posted are, though. Are they good? Are they great? Are they wonderful? Well, my friends, what can I say? The rights are real. And we're in. The Getting Out of Here Club! Next up on the agenda, keep chasing stars until we're free. Until we are free. Until we're free. Yeah, here. Yeah. Sounds fine. Might as well be us instead of Lindell back there. Oh, well, that's right. Anyway, guess we better start packing. As the others go about the business, Headwind turns to you. Reader, come with me while the Sarge is still out. You and Headwind walk in silence for a time before he speaks up. You have questions. Come, ask away. We need you in on this for the long haul. Hedwin wishes to know if anything is troubling you. Ask why he's exiled. Ask how he got to this wagon. Ask why you cannot conduct the rites yourself. Ask what happens if you refuse to help. Oh, I don't like any of these. I just want to hang. The Black Bannon's contents belong to a group called Nightwings. What happened? Oh, that's why they are confusing us with someone else. Tiny Speedy Guy does less damage, but lands easier. Oh... That makes sense. That's why I would did a lot less dam er, damage to it, huh? They were your first Twitch communities. Amazing! You ask Hedwin how he and his companions managed to come into possession of this black wagon. And what happened to its former, former owners? He maintains eye contact and his smile. Good question, my friend. We're going to have a lot of time to discuss that and many other things. Make you a deal. Read the stars for us again, and I'll tell you about it on the way. You sense he speaks truly as he beckons towards the fading dark above. You gaze at the stars. Oh, do I? No. Do I always have to go to the one that's shining? The dust star burns bright over an adjacent spring in Yomir Valley. 
Can I choose something else? Nope. This game's got a lot of lore and characters and plot. Yeah, I'm seeing that already. That's the long way north and west. We'll see if the old wagon is fit for it. And he turns to the others. How's it going, Rookie? Gim's fed! Wheels clean! Status, Jody? No sign of how those. Everything is secure. I like her. Good. Then get some west. We're headed to the spring of Yomir. At dawn, we're off. According to the stars, the next rite shall soon commence here. The Alpha Chief hoped bathing here would cure his ailments, but it only made him itch. <laughs> Why are you always going to be here? She seems to have something in her mind. Oh, shit. Did I miss a chance to interact with her before? You send Shadariel's steel gaze before you turn to her. Rito, rummaging around about the wagon once again. Tell me something now that you are here. Look at me. Are you afraid of me? No, I think you're dope. You consider the question. You have never before met someone like her, but you know something of what happens to those who remain in the downside for many years. Admit she can be intense. Rodero listens no fear. Deny feeling that way. Nope. From what you know of her thus far, you sense no need to feel afraid of her. Whatever she may be getting at, you think it's best not to adjoke her. Yeah. You tell her that, although you do not yet know each other well, you do not fear her, and on the contrary, feel safer in her presence. Absolutely. Truly. In that case, I have much work left to do. You shall feel me yet, if you survive this place. Now then, I shall go make my rounds. Aw, oh, she wants me to be afraid of her? Damn. She walks away, you feel the floor of the wagon shake with her step. She gained one hope for the next right. Oh. Interesting. Commonly, people will say they didn't grok the rights gameplay, but the rest it carried through. They didn't grok. What's grok? Also, oh damn, it went away. Hey, stinking spiderwebs! You observe the ladder leading. Oh, wow, something I missed last time. Leaving the locked enclosure above the cabin, the wagon centrifuge must be up there. Strive him stare down at you with big wet eyes. Adorable. I love them. Does this do anything for me? Here on the spider webs. There's about 200 million variants of endings. What? So you're probably not getting to experience anybody fully shared. No way. Okay, so the replayability is bananas with this, huh? You haven't, uh, Rookie knows the mountain pass through an arid region further north. Okay. Oh. Yomir Valley. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but it sounds cool. The climate here in Yomir Valley is hot and uncomfortable. On top of that, we have a stowaway. Hello. I like the sticks in your hair. Are you a druid? Home. You can go home. She must have latched onto the undercarriage as you cross the ridge. Her manner is odd, though she, you sense she means no harm. You must have overheard some of my fellow exiles' conversations. Oh, some of your fellow exiles' conversations. You need but to say the whole, say the word, Edwin. Oh, she looks cool. Oh, come on, you can't be serious, Jody. She's just some kid who managed to climb aboard our wagon undetected, but still. Do it, Jody. No! Don't fuck her up. Jodario approaches the girl and looms over her. Listen to me, girl. We cannot guarantee that we shall get you home. Or by any of us. Or any of us. But at present, we have room for you. And adequate provisions. You may accompany us for the time. Oh, cool. They didn't, like, hurt, murder her or kick her out. 
Jordario leaves without awaiting a response, presumably to make room in the wagon for a new guest. The stowaway is overjoyed at this. Really? You were so kind. You are, you are most kind to someone you just met like me. May the eight scribe smile upon you. <laughs> we need a voice for her. She claps her hands, bursts into laughter, and performs some sort of dance. Ruki stares at all of this and leans in close to Hedwin. Hey, so, uh, uh what gives? First the reader, now you're taking her along? What? We gonna take in every mite, bit, and drive imp we find out, too? Easy, Ruki. I think he'd want for us to bring this one along. Who, Sandalwood? I thought you said he asked me to find someone to fit in the, every type of mask. Here, as I can tell, yours would fit her just fine. The apparent name of some mysterious informant of Hedwin Jodari and Ruki. He asked that we use our best judgment. Besides, we sent her away, so we'll telling anyone she finds about us. We can't risk that right now. So, um, I can come in. It's very hot, and I'm a little thirsty and a little tired, too. I hope she's not evil. Yes, you're welcome here with us. One question, though. What do we call you? Um, well, this is embarrassing, I think, but I don't know for sure. It's just, back home, they called me lots of names. Like, for the color of my hair. They made fun of you just because you got gray hair? That's it. My name, it rhymes with gray. My name, my name, it, oh, it's just, they called me lots of names. Whoa, everything went black. You sense the girl struggling to recollect or recollect a certain name she felt best suited her. You think that you may, you can help the stowaway girl make peace with her name. Oh, do I get a name her? Fay is fitting. She could definitely be a Fay. Of that, you have no doubt. <laughs> this is great. Consider more ways to still wait, girl, to make peace with their name. <laughs> Bay. I think I'm gonna go with Ray. You suggest that the story's girl's name is Ray. She's a young, vagabond girl with odd manner and unshakable sense of curiosity. Why, that's it. My name is Ray. My name is Ray. Where I am from, they call me Ray the Wretched. Wretched, maybe? But I guess maybe you don't have to say that part because I didn't really like it. Who's picking on you? Your fellow exiles decide to bring Ray along for now. She almost collapses from exhaustion, so you take her in and show her somewhere so she can rest. We got a new friend. It is a visual novel. That's what I'm seeing for sure. There's a... We've been live for like an hour and 15 minutes. Besides the 15 minutes of me just bullshitting. I think we've played like eight minutes of it, which I'm fine. Like Supergiant does great with stories and stuff. The Black Dragon arrives in a somewhat peaceful stretch of Yomura Valley. Your companions wish to hole up here for the night to give Ray and all of you a little time to rest. Huh? Hi, friend. Seems to have something on her mind. She's small. Ray seems to be recovering well since you found her. She seems fascinated by everything and everyone in the wagon. Oh, hi, mister. You're the one who knew my name. You guessed it right. You did. Thanks for your hospitality. I've been eating with the imps and talking to the wagon. Talking to the wagon? This wagon. He and I are the same age. Almost the very day. But I am older by three weeks. So I'm giving him a hard time. Little brother, I call him. He's a good wagon, isn't he? He will take us very, very far. My little brother, sure, he pulls at my hair at times and I don't like it very much, but he's family. I have to be here with my family. I thought that I had lost them all again. I thought I had lost them all. Oh, but we have stopped now, haven't we? Then I should go outside to dance in case the scribes are watching. Hi, mister. She's precious as fuck. Smiling back at you, she prances out the door. Anything's a click... Okay, but okay, so I I don't have like an assigned slot for her. Do 
Your fellow exiles are taking a moment to unwind. Jodari emotions for you to join them. Let's get used to your new life here, reader. We seldom get such moments of reprieve. Perhaps some further study of that book shall pass the time. You could join me for a little stroll if you're feeling up to it. Always something to be forged around here. Or you could teach us more of what you know. Perhaps us for the next rite. Or prepare us for the next rite. In any case, we do what we can to stay busy. Keeps a sense of isolation well at bay. At certain time junctures, you may choose from several vocations. Ways in which you can make yourself useful during occasional moments of free time. Okay. Forge for resources. Search the surrounding area for valuables to add to your Black Wagon's stash of goods. Own your skills as a reader to grant small global bonuses to your fellow exiles during the rites. Teach your fellow exiles the old ways to raise their individual rank in the rites more quickly. Their individual rank? What does that mean? Own your skills as a reader to grant some global bonuses. Sure, I'll teach my friends. Having gleaned knowledge from the Book of Rites, you can impart some of its teachings. As each exile's path towards enlightenment is personal, you will have to mentor them one at a time. Oh. I'm assuming... Oh. Remember Rites the Exile has completed. Is that this thing? No, because he has one. What if I do her again? Help Jodario gain enlightenment. At certain thresholds, her rank and the rights will increase. Is this the rank? This is the rank. Oh. Oh, dude. She's a great CCer. CC or tank. Very well. For there is much to learn. Your knowledge of that book is vital to all of us. You illustrate to Jujariel some of the intri in tri intricacies of the rites, focusing on how all three in Triumvirate can move and act as of one mind. You essentially grasp some of the concepts. Hey. I appreciate your knowledge, reader. Perhaps I shall soon have an opportunity to put it to some use. Oh, I didn't get an upgrade. I guess it has to fill that bar, right? Continue my journey. The path leading further west splits off, and once again your fellow exiles turn the choice of where to go over to you. Ray seems enthusiastic for whichever route you choose. Blue Hive. <laughs> Look, she's just like, I'll go to either one. The north route across the Yomir Valley passes the remains of the Hive Titan. Ray believes those who travel this path shall be as strong as Gol, the eight scribes. The south route across the Yomir Valley is riddled with barren rock and bone. Ray believes those who travel this path shall be as swift as Yomir of the eight scribes. Oh. Will we get some speed buff? Ray is behaving stranger than usual as you traverse the barren's waste of Fall Flat. Even the wild curves of the valley avoid the oppressive heat of this place. This place was the path of your many main, ran across so many, many times. Can you not feel his presence, him and all his friends, here in the sand and in the air and all about? Six of the eight scribes of the Book of Rites, known as the Brave or the Alpha Chief. An alpha chief that united the Kurs under a single banner and charted half the known world. At first you pay it little heed, though later you observe your fellow exiles seem to have more of a light lightness in their step. Perhaps it was the previous day's rest that did everyone good. Yes, we got quickness for the ride. Amazing. According to the stars, the next rite shall soon commence. Oh, that was 
Okay. On route to the spring of Yomir, you hear all the you hear all, all about the roving slug market, which appears to be nearby. Rookie insists you take a look after you settle in. Crew trading post found in downside. Oh yeah, we read that before. Look at the slug boy! Page revealed the last emperor. Slug market where you can trade your forged goods for things of greater value. Oh, hey, dude. I'm sure that's Zagreus. Edwin motions for you to join him. While his manner is an easygoing as ever, you sense his contemplative mood. You were wondering about this wagon. It's a long story, but I'm going to keep it short. If you last long enough on the downside, you start to hear a lot of crazy things. One of the crazy things I heard one day is that there's a group of exiles that are fighting one another for their freedom. Under the stars, while wearing masks and dresses. Everyone I was with just laughed. But something about the story stuck with me, and I started to do some digging. Got in touch with Jody, who I knew. She got in touch with Ruki. We knew who to a he knew who to ask, and it turned out I knew how to answer. That's when we got in touch with our contact, Sandalwood. We talked only through messages, never met in person. I must have gained his trust. He told me to go searching in the sandfolds. Gave an exact location. Told me to bring my friends. Then he said to get a reader. Oh, it could be Achilles. The wagon was almost completely buried when you found it. The minstrel was out cold in the corner, just the way you saw him. The rest, you know. So the wagon isn't ours, the robes aren't ours, and I don't know who the Nightwings are. One day, maybe we'll meet up with our informant and learn more. But now you know as much as any of us do. So, that's how we got here. How we met you. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. I'll see you later on. He nods at you and heads out, leaving you there in the black wagon. Okay. Wait, did I miss something here? Oh, I might have missed some story. How many nations did I scour in the name of Sol uh, Soli and Myrrh? How many countries fell before spears and blades? Such questions measured less to me with every passing victory. Our legion swelled across the land and our dominion grew. The Emperor Solomon and Myrrh paid all this little heed. He only tended to his personal affairs. Our legions relished the autonomy. We did not know that the Emperor cared nothing for his legions nor his people. He only cared for that which was before him. And one day he learned of such thing as to befit his name and vowed to seek it out. Ooh. Excuse me. We got a bunch more candles. <laughs> that funny sound. Hey, hey, guys. That is, um, Skelly. Just from that little bit of sound he made. Hey, guys. How's it going? Menstrual Green Tail. Been a while and all that. Hey, Ron, how's it going? Say, how come you set up a shop all the way out of here? Isn't that a little out of the way? Oh, uh, well, let's just say you guys, you ain't my only customers. You see, Dad and I, we know the business pretty good. We've been around the block, and so... As Ron keeps blathering, Rookie signals for to you in a furtive way. He is a traveling sales creature and proprietor of the downside slug market. Here's the deal, chum. Got an informant says that there's something here connected to the rights business. See if you can spot it. Should be able to pawn some stuff, some of our stuff to make the trade. And don't worry about Falcon Ron. So anyways, you guys got something for me or what? That black bloom you got there. Awesome specific times while bitter at first taste of black bloom makes the pain go away. I can take off your paws if you want. Drag black bloom, sure. Sure. Hey, you know, I'll take it. Master Greenwell, though, you drive a pretty hard bargain. Am I gonna take something off my hands here or what? Drag Moon Crystal, but what if I want something else? I can't afford it. Rank 10 Talisman. While carrying the orb, the bearer moves faster than usual. Ooh. A light and reflective bit of something fallen from the stars. It seems lighter still at night. Okay. That's a one-of-a-kind thinger you got, you just got there, you know, and 
you got yourself a real good deal for me as well. So thanks. Apparently, uh, apparently any one of those us buzzers can get a little edge out of that thing during the rites. I mean, just a question of who gets to try it out. It's your fellow exiles, my own talisman equipped. Um, I'm thinking. Oh, I have to give it to him. Wait, nope. Make you fast. I'm just stacking her up. Anyways, down over here, his feet, you know, he's been having some trouble with his feet. Getting real something or other from all the hoofing around. And so, you see, Rookie indicates that you... Indicates the, to you that now would be a good time to depart. Aw, oh, he just wants to talk. Poor guy. See you, Mr. Greentail. And your friend, too. I like him. Seems real nice, you know. Later, dude. As you complete pre preparations for the rites to commence, you notice Ray approaching. You notice, too, that she's wearing your companion's raiments. Can we go home? Ray, I thought it made myself quite clear that you are not to touch those robes. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Dario. I just thought that maybe we were being funny at the time. Unbelievable. Hey, uh, something's happening in the sky. I think we're up. Oh, so is she going to take the place of Hedwin? Because she's wearing the robes. During the rites, avoid the auras of your adversaries and banish them with your own. You lose your aura when you grasp the orb. <sighs> Rita, what brings you to the spring of Jomia? Jomia. Must have been the stars. Although it seems that your triumvirate now numbers four exiles. Not oh, sick. Expected three. Although triumvirate is three. The rules of the rights were not created for you to dispatch. Prepare now to confront the fate. What is the skeletons back there? The traditions of the scribes and surely have been longing for this chance. But first, you have a choice to make. The sky burns bright. Once more, as your next adversaries in the rites approach. Your apparent leader is bent old Kerr, who regards you with a formal bow. Oh man, he's an old dog. At his side is an intense young man. I hail you, exiles of Nightwings, and I'm grateful that you chose to grace us with your presence once again. I am called Darbar's old heart. And this is my son, Almer. What? You're a dog. He's an honorable old cur bent on upholding the sacred traditions of the rites with his son. Almer is the dutiful foster son, there you go, Albert Oldhart, and is very protective of him above all else. Is that going to come out of the gameplay? Not tell them, father. We need not greet them, father. We shall face you in the field this night, and may the victor's pyre burn eternal. But first... We offer you a token of good faith and the show of appreciation that the Nightwings have returned. Albert approaches you with something in his paw. You sense his motives are sincere as he hands you a small talisman. Really? You receive talisman crest. Grants the bearer to quickness. A forged metal brooch cool to the touch depicting some triumph of a sea dominion. Thank him. Really? Thanks, buddy. How very kind of you. That Kerr was very kind, and his son, he was so caring, wasn't he? When can we start? I want to help you beat them. We need three of us exactly to conduct a right, but we've got four now, besides the reader. This ought to be his call. If someone has a stand aside this time, I volunteer. No volunteering, chum! It ought to be the reader's call, remember? Very well, reader. Who shall it be? Oh man. I don't know her stats, so it didn't give me the thing. The dog gives you a gift, and now you're gonna beat him up. Exactly! I'm confused. Who shall strive for freedom? Okay, I can look at her stats now. Oh, can I not? Here you go. 
She's a young vagabond. Oh, yeah, we were there. Can't throw her aura in a straight line. Plants her feet, then jumps to evade adversary's aura. Gains a sudden burst of speed after a moment. She's a savage. Simple folk ostracized for the def for their. Does that say deficiencies? Is my brain freaking out? For their deficiencies or differences. Even prior to their sent sentencing. Also called the Moon Touch, they proved overly resistant to the principles of Lost Souls today. They're actual Fey. The Commonwealth never did know how to handle those who do not fit neatly into its mold. It is said those born under a wild moon oft left a charmed and troubled life. She appears to be a vagabond who has wandered the downside for some time and has somehow managed to get by. Her simple and sincere demeanor suggests she likely was shunned in the Commonwealth and would have been considered a savage by the standards there. She seems unusually interested in the legends of the eight scribes. Um. Oh, dang, you're speedy. Okay, but we know for sure we want... Shit. Oh, I bring them in one at a time. As you will. Okay, cool. Um, so fast. I'm bring her in too. Equipping away with a talisman from your cargo will make her stronger in the rights. Ah. Uh, nice. Whoa, they, they did voice lines for every kind of name you could have gave her? That's amazing. Oh, me, thank you. Thank you for believing me. Because I think the scribes do too. She is fucking precious, dude. All right, I think I'm going to grab him. Edwin. They're both like the same size, but I like him as a character. You didn't have to do this, but I'll do my best. Well, look at you, John, making the tough calls. Fine, whatever else sit out. Nightwings, I trust you all well prepared for these old eyes, yet see that the right shall be commencing momentarily. Are you quite ready too, my son? I hope so, father. Here, let me show you. Wait. Where are you going, sucker? Yeah, that's mine. Yeah, get wrecked. Yeah, walk into him. Watch what happens. Zing! Splam! Oh, sucker! Oh, yeah, you better not move. You'll get in trouble. Yeah! Shit, wrong button. And swoosh. Look forth, my son. The waters of Jomer many may bring blessings unto us this eve. Perhaps our chance has come at last. We need more than blessings to prepare against them, Father. Please keep fighting. Why is it all the way down there? The moon drops. Wait, what? Oh shit. A boon come from the stars themselves. Oh, you trying to jump? Oh, get wrecked, bruh. Oh, I better pick this up. Oh, I want that. Yeah. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? You're gonna get bonked. No, wrong button. Shit. Yes. Mm. Yeah, get wrecked. Yeah, it'd be my tank. Oh shit, that doesn't work that way. Fuck. No, 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 made it. Oh yeah, bro. Yeah, fuck you, dog. Yeah, I'm on. Yeah, you, you're getting tanked. Haha. <laughs> Dude, she just fucking tanks it. Jodario, you're a fucking god. Once more like 
that and we are finished here. Oh, poor old Dolbert. Wow, I'm too good at this game. It's Jardario, the hard carry. Untouched flame. That was dope. Jardario is dope. Just plop her in the middle and laugh. It seems we have prevailed. I think we did. I think we did. Too bad about the fate. They seemed a decent bunch. Honorable triumph determined to have... Oh, yeah, we read that. Exiles of the Nightwings, the dawn is yours. And may you earn your freedom. But, Father, the dawn might have been ours. We failed, and I have failed you. Nonsense. We are the fate. We do what is ordained and nothing less. Now, let us go, my son, for I am weary once again. I think I'm beginning to understand something. Oh, I think I'm beginning to understand something of all this, my friend. Ooh, upgrades. There we go. Rights mastering, enhancing, and no man's skill and versatility. Olga Gothian never ordered an assault in which he did not participate firsthand. Influence over his triumvirate. Oh, is he a buffman? Though many were conscripted into the Master General's Legion, many more simply volunteered. Edwin and his allies to generate stamina twice as quickly as usable. Ooh. Edwin gains plus 50% more stamina, letting him jump and sprint more often. No, no, you're a buff. The Master General reveals his you level up too? Yes! Focus, training, prowess, a path towards survival of the blood border. These rites make similar demands of us. All right, I'm thinking I'm doing this one. Plus four, raising the size of her area or her aura. Yes, fucking please. Wait, you, I was going to say, how did you, wait, whoa, did you see that? There was a green thing. Oh, she didn't level up. That's a bummer. What was the green bar? Uh, hello, excuse me. I mean, would you excuse me for a moment? Do you think? You, you're one of them. What do you want? Father needs me. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I think I forgot what I was going to say. I'm so embarrassed. I... What is the matter with you? It is against the rights for us to even speak like this. Um, uh, I did not know that. I don't think... No one has said anything like that to me, but then all... This is very new to me, and so I thought, maybe... You cannot be serious. Yes. I mean, I like to laugh. I like to laugh a lot, and you, um... How about you? This is night. This is a Nightwing's trick. Father told me not to speak to any of you. But I just. Uh, she just wants to make friends. I have to go. Vistalia. Wait, Elmer. Wait. I think that was your name. Is that even your name? Wait. She kind of reminds me of someone that was in Spirit Fair, or would be in Spirit Fair. We switch to different difficulty setting at any time. Oh, that's nice. Whoa, there's arrows. Where's my mouse? As you return to the wagon after thwarting the fate, you notice Jadariel tense up and frown. Why? Where did he go? Who? Wait, the sleeping guy? The minstrel. He's gone. You see, it's true. There's no trace of the lone minstrel. But I've been lying still in the corner of the wagon all this time. You join the others and search for him outside. You have learned nothing of the lone minstrel other than that what little Hadewin told you of how you, they found him with the wagon. You sense their concern as they scour the vicinity for him. We'll worry about the minstrel, my friend. You worry about the stars. Wherever they guide us, we're going. Gaze upon the stars once more. Oh, would I get multiple choice? Nope. Who are... Our Haub, the midnight star, runs right over the standing stones at the edge of the flagging hands. Ooh, that skeleton had dreadlocks. 
Everyone, we're heading back east all the way across the valley. Towards the cairn of Ha'uv, then. That's right. We have to risk it. What if that minstrel guy doesn't turn up by then? We shall find him on this night or another. They continue searching for some time. However, the minstrel is nowhere to be found. Is that something I fucked up? Hey, buddy. That has something on his mind. After having vanquished the fate with ease last night, you find Rookie off on his own. You sense he wants to talk about your decision to exclude him from conducting the rite. What look at we have here if it isn't my good chum? You gonna try to make me feel bad? Oh yeah, I'm mad. You bet I'm mad. Who wouldn't be if they don't get to run around in the cold wearing old robes? Good thing the others managed to grab by it without my help. He complains like this for some time and then... Okay. It's out of my system now. I'm off for a quick walk. Know what I mean? He departs to check on things outside. You sense that he no longer has misgivings about what transpired and is more concerned at present about missing the minstrel. What? Oh, phase scribe catcher. That's adorable. The bundle of sticks Ray insists on hanging the rafters. She believes it brings good fortune. Hiding the wedding with... <laughs> This is freaking adorable, dude. There's no sign of the lone minstrel, although Jodariel tracks potential signs of movement east. The same way you are headed, you consider where to search for him. Oh, here you go. The north route to the Jomir Valley passes the remains of the Hive Titan. Yeah, we know those. We're going backwards, huh? Edwin thinks the missing mistral could have taken the route opposite of the one you took. Dodara believes the missing minstrel must have taken the same route. Well, she did say she somehow tracks. Plus speed is pretty dope. As you make your way through the stark badlands of Fallflat, all there is to show for the missing minstrel is a deeper scowl of, on Jodariel's face last. I felt certain that would have taken our same route to the spring of Jomir. It's all right, Jody. He could have gone anywhere. Likely there was nothing to be found earlier way. Either way, we should keep moving. You pick up bits and pieces of the minstrel's significance to your fellow exiles. He was there when they first discovered the Black Dragon, but they speak little more of it now. Oh, okay. So it was the wrong way? Stop the wagon. What? How come? Because of her. Oh. They're coming. They're coming for us. We have to be ready. We have to. Does she mean what I think she means? Are the wolves coming? I believe so. Your fellow exiles scramble to prepare the wagon for whatever is out there. Once you help them settle in, perhaps you can learn more of their source of concern. What? They're coming for us. They fear the scribes. They fear the scribes. I know they do. What's she talking about? What's going on? Owlers. Lots of them. That's the thing. They, were, they keep bringing up. Then what are we going to do? They fear the scribes. Calm yourself, Ray. We shall give them reason for us to fear us as well. Fucking Jadaril. Choke me out, dude. Uh, just seriously, you're awesome. We'll use the remnants in the books. Indeed, one of us can draw them out under the reader's watch. This will be just like one of our rights. Edwin turns to you. It seems we need your oops. It seems we need your help with this, my friend. We just need a volunteer to go with you. I will do it, Mister. Please, you have to let me. And the scribes, they will protect me. I know they will. Dario exchanges looks with Edwin. Each of them nods at you, to, as if to signal their approval. Ray intends to help fend off the Howlers. Mm, Ray! You are tiny. Jadariel is big smashy. Oh, do I not get a choice? 
Toggle aim assist in the options menu if you wish to make it easier or cast adversaries. Oh, that's what the uh, aim assist is for. Whoa! That howling sound, it means, it means they're here. Whoa, that was the wrong voice. That howling sound, it means, it means they're here. Oh, by the scribes, they're here. Send off the howlers. Wait, do I have to? Zing! Well, that's bad. Go away, go away. Okay, but the boys are adorable. Power cast, huh? This looks just like Hades. Do I ever run out of this? Oh, I missed. Fuck. Ah, is that draining my power? Flashing the power jump. Oh, shit. Ow. Shit. There it is. Okay. Couldn't figure that out. I can't do the power jump. Oh, I did it on accident. More. I think there's many more. Oh, here they come. Here they come. These? Why are they shiny? A million dudes. No. Shit. There's too many of them. There's too many of them. Ah. I don't know what to do. Am I doing this so very wrong? Now at last, it is. I think it is. Oh, those poor wretched beasts! Huh? Justin Ray spawns something creeping towards her. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my God! Look at him. I love him. <gasps> A holding block. At least when you see Pyre Flash cast an Exile's order. Okay. But it was also a jump. The howling subsides as your fellow exiles scramble out to see, check on Ray. I love him. He's adorable. You find her in one piece along with an unfamiliar little face. <laughs> Ow! That hurt my everything. <laughs> Isn't he the best? Can we keep him? You sense a depth of experience in this creature, at least judging by drive up imp standards. In fact, you feel a connection to him. If you concentrate, perhaps you can derive some meaning from his calls and screeches. <laughs> what? The drive up imp seems both excited and frustrated by something. I don't know. Interact. You now understand this unusual driven drivels imp. Really? The drive-up imp recognizes you as the new reader of the Nightwings. He is pleased to meet you. I can't click that. You can. Oh, I can now understand. The drive-up imp seems satisfied at having gotten through to you. Can you explain to your companions little you have learned of him so far? No one argues against letting the creature come along inside the wagon. The other drive imps stare at him with something like reverence. He's a special boy. Drive up and join you. He seems to know his way around. I love him. Look at him. You can see the little imp has made himself at home. He rushes right up to you. The new imp companion seems very pleased to be in the wagon. He indicates he was able to find things, find you thanks to the swarm of howlers. Oh, he has no love of howlers, and they know. Not to mess with him either. He 
plans to set up a nest that should ward off any further trouble from them. Nice. He looks forward to the road ahead with everyone and believes it shall be worth it. He says to be saying, he seems to be saying he is happy to be back where he belongs and he urges to keep going. He bounds off towards his brethren and settles in the wagon's rafters. Oh, am I able to like drop them somewhere to protect me from howlers? I loved him. He was adorable as fuck. Lick sand. An arid southern path of the ominous care Haob. Your new friend seems insistent that you take this path bearing east. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Edwin orders the wagon to a halt somewhere in the desolate sprawl of Yomir Valley. There's someone on the road. Just be careful, everyone. The figure watching the black wagon from afar approaches, arms spread wide, although a hat... Although a hat and a cloak conceal the figure, figure's features. Then the imp rushes out toward whomever, toward whoever it is. The imp is very riled up at the sight of whoever it is, approaching, though in an almost joyous way. Did you find a friend? Oh, hello. Hey, it's the dude! Oh, that's his, that's his name! Tizo. He's a venerable drive imp who seems to know the ins and outs of the Nightwing's back wagon. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. And you've found the others even faster than I expected. The imp called Tizo appears very pleased. The lone minstrel turns towards the rest of you. He is a very grayscale color palette. Hello. We have not met. I know who you are. Or who you must be. I returned as promptly as I could. Have you walked with the scribes themselves? Because I think you, maybe you have. Hello indeed. You had us worried when you took off. I should knock him back into his slumber. I did not aim to cause such concern. As soon as I awakened, I had, no note, I had to notify my client that the night wings have returned. Your client? Hi, my client, Sandalwood. He's your point of contact, as I understand. You did not find his wagon by mistake. So what now? You continue down the path. That is why I am here. When we meet my client, we shall he shall explain. For now, you have a job to do. I assure that I shall not interfere. I assure you that I shall not interfere. But I mean to accompany you. Would that be alright? Edwin and the others exchange looks. Welcome back, Minstrel. You got a name? I am sometimes called Tariq. It is a pleasure to meet you, Nightwings. He appears to be traveling musician set, yet seems to be connected to the rites. The lone Mitchell returns the black wagon with your fellow exiles. All right. We got a friend that hangs out with us now. Oh, there's the skeleton with the dreadlocks. The cairn of ha Oob is a foreboding sight. It is here that the next rite is soon to commence. Reader, if you have a moment, once we are settled on these grounds, I wish to speak with you in the wagon at your leisure. Okay. Oh, like persons here. How's it going? Oh, white loot. The lone Mitchell's Tariq's musical instrument with which he chronicles great deeds through song. The lone Mitchell's white loot chronicles the journey through song. Using it, you can may linger, or you may hear glimpses of your past experience use across the downside. It is. It's the, uh, the music selector. The lone Mitchell seems to have sis or situated himself on the wagon. He is very still, not unlike when he was sleeping. Peter, I shall be brief. As you shortly have right, you must conduct. You have read something of the Book of Rights, which means that you may know something of my nature. On the contrary, you know not what he means, and he soon senses this. Forgive me, for I spoke too soon. Suffice it, suffice it, I have served the Nightwings for some time. Conduct the rites with glory, and you shall achieve what you seek. The lone man shall nod farewell to you and steps away. I knew it was full of his errand, but my liege, he would not listen. He insisted, he instead insisted to pursue a certain treasure, a celestial orb, freshly from from the head, from the heavens in the reaches of the downside. 
It would be a living legend if only he could grasp it. Whispered in his ear that the Kal Kalmer rope collar, his elder and most trusted aid, would that I slew that man himself. Myself. His was simple and yet brilliant ruse to draw the Emperor farther still from his responsibilities and toward his greed. Thus did the Emperor begin an expedition to the Forsaken Lands. He insisted that he go himself. I haven't found anything. I have 69 money! Oh, hey guys. Science to meeting you and running you on this side of the sand. What can I do for you? Butt flexes. Butt flexes. Have a good night, Carrot. Thanks for hanging out, my dude. I appreciate you. Have a good some good sleeps. Um, Ron, how do you make it all this way ahead of us? That was I was wondering. Oh, come on, Mr. Greentail. Can't you just give up give up all my business secrets? Am I right? But I can do those, seeing as you have been such a good customer and all. Let's provide you a sample of a little something something you might like. Yeah, check this out. Seeing as you bought that moon crest stinger for me last time, why I'm just thinking you could use this. And I got more if you want. Pinch of Stardust. That's the thing I picked up in the other one, right? Interact with Ron to quiet him down. <laughs> From the noises he's making? That's funny. Drag to a talisman to enhance it usable once. Oh, that's dope. Lucrative contract. After banishing an adversary, the bearer gains one money. After this many times per right. Oh, that's cool. While carrying the orb, the bearer moves faster than usual. At the start of a right, the bearer's pyre automatically gains seven. When plunging into the adversary's pyre, the bearer deals bonus damage plus two. Hmm. After banishing an adversary, the bearer gains one money. Can I have multiple talismans? Ah, oh, now you know you're going to like the stuff, guys. It's pretty cool, you know what I mean? And if you want some more now, I just I just might know the individual on this dead who can get it. Catch me in meaning, yeah, just stop by. Order some other time. Interact and let him be himself. What a goofball. This is great. <laughs> I wonder if they added that because it was driving people nuts. Uh, you guys really are my favorite customers, you know? Later, bro. Uh, let's hook up some of my friends. Um... Oh. After oh, wait a minute. What? When did you wear that? I thought you had something else. Um. Yeah, you can make us some money. You. Oh, you have the quickness one. You. The attribute affects duration of banishment. Okay, so his banishment is 6.7 seconds. Okay, yeah, the higher. Wow, his is real high. Sixteen and twenty-one. So if I do this, we'll get a more rounded team here. 
Also, what if I do this? That seems like a bad idea to use that on those right now. That could be good for the doggy. Damage dealt. So you're 20. 20, 30. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, wait, what was that? What is this? Exiles gain enlightenment twice as quickly while they have inspiration. Oh! So if they, they miss a, a... Whatever, a, a time going out, they get inspiration. Okay. I think that's, a, that's just a guess. You and your fellow exiles gather around the sacred site known as the Cairn of Ha'ub, anticipating the hour that the rites are about to, are to commence again. All is quiet for a time, and then... Whoa, look at this guy! From out of nowhere, charges a gnarly cur. He stops short and gives you a mighty sneer. It's the marker's ash buzz! Real nice of work. Real piece of work. Just don't make eye contact. He's a troublemaking cur who thrills in the defeat of the triumvirates who stand against him. Oh, well... Would you look at this lot? Even got one of our own consorting with the two leggers. You're a disgrace there, mate. You realize? Uh, good to see you, Barker. You're looking well. Uh, did you know about... How, didn't you know you know about the rights? Uh, I know a lot about things, my friend. For instance, I know you're going to be very, very sad after I wake the floor with you here. Don't know who's back you scratch or in yourself a spot in the high and mighty night wings there, but I got another shirt. But I'm going to make sure all of you regret it. Because why not? Sounds good, sounds good. The curb barker laughs away at his packs as his pack stumbles after him. You hear them howling and cackling at the stars above as the stars begin to glow. Okay. This music's pretty dope. And the rights evading with W or sprinting with cost stamina, which you generate automatically. Yeah, okay. I need to use that W. It's it's a weird button. I wonder if I can change the controls. As the stars shine down upon you, the pack of curves you stand against this night continues hooting and howling. Hold on, let me see. Controls. There we go. That might be better. If I could just remember which of those buttons I pressed. We start. Okay. Oi, come on, you lot. Let's boil some blood. And Rookie pulls you aside. Um, look, Jum, I don't know how to say this, but I can't go against these guys. Just trust me on this one, okay? You sense he means it. You make a mental note to ask him about his history with Barker whenever your time permits. It's all right, Rookie. We can take care of them. Begging your pardon, but if you need another to stand at your side this night, I might have someone here who I would recommend. Do not be coy with us, us minstrel. On the robes if you intend to stand with us. Oh, I did not mean myself. The rights are not for me. I was instead referring to this little one. Yes, be the little bird! Ah! I love him. He looks like Hornet from, uh... Hollow Knight. A creature wearing tiny raiments appears at the lone minstrel's side. I love him. Absurd. The imp knows the rights. He knows a great deal. So long as the Nightwings stand together, he shall be at their side. Though you need not 
take my word for it. Izo, our adversaries seem to be preoccupied. Perhaps you might quickly show our comrades what you can do. The little imp peers at you. You sense his connection to the rights as he awaits your guidance. Look at him! Peter, influencing Tizo may take some getting used to. He is inviting you to try. Flutter. Look at him! Oh my god, he is precious as fuck! I love him. Oh, look at him bounce! Oh my god, I love him. Implode. Wait, what? Ho! Oh. Dude, the range on that is bananas. This guy is nuts. Oh, they fast. Well done as ever, Tizo. Well, then, Rita, who shall conduct the rites in the name of the Nightwings? He's adorable as fuck, bro! Yeah, his glory is low. Okay, we need to take off this thing. Um, Give it to you. Although, I'm pretty sure I'm going to use him as a defense. Wow, he's got a big ass presence. Um, I am definitely gonna bring her. Her quickness. Return. You know what? Let's choose her. And the boy. I love him. The choice is cast. May the scribes watch over us, even if, or even help us out if we need it. Time's up, you swill. Come on, boys, let's get him. You're gonna have a bad time, bro. Begin. Yep, get wrecked. That was the wrong button. Oh, you can push those? Shit. Boom! Get fucked. No, I was pushing the wrong button. Fuck. Yarm. <laughs> I love him. Oh my god, that was adorable. Shit. No. Woo! Bask in the purified Shit. Poor Joe Dariel. Oh, dip. Shameful outcome. No. 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 Tis what the scribes ordained. Where's fucking what's her name? There she is. Fucker. Fucker. The dissidents are banished to the last. Boom, Jodario, you fucking legend. All right, you lots, that does it. No more fussing around, right? My boys and me, we're gonna we're proper and you now. You gonna cheat? What the fuck? Oh shit, I don't have Jodari anymore. No! Shit. Shit! So sorry for the wait there, I didn't mean to push right click. Okay, we're all back though. Fuck you, bro. 
No! Oh, I meant to push the jump. Fine. Boom! Hook it to the hole, bro! I meant to jump. Thus end this night's proceedings. Perhaps now they should learn some humility. Oh, well, I thought we did just win. Did we just beat them? Oh, well, well, I'll be heaping. I'll be a heaping ball of, ball of dung, but I just can't believe you shoddy lot showed us. Uh, what for like that? My boys and I will have to take you just a tad more serious next time. Till then... You just be sure to tell old Rookie of Greentail that yours truly, he remembers everything you hear. The rights do tend to teach something of trust. Heck yeah, bruh. Yep, every time they, they sit out, they get experienced. The scribes, they whisper to me. They do, from time to time. Right, what do you got? Uh... Brief charge up time before Ray jumps or sprints is virtually eliminated. Okay. Enemies of the Emperor found enemy armies at the doorstep before they realized what was even happening. Kalmer Rope Collar learned to control his impulses, as knowing was necessary in his plans. The brief charge up time before Ray can cast her aura is greatly reduced. Oh, I don't care about either of these. Might have been smart to check out the other ones. I love him. I should probably be reading this. He's a feel solemn respect for the rights and all their myriad complexities. Did you love love? Yay! Oh, I love him. While fluttering or zipping, Tizo moves much faster than usual. Sounds great. If Banish Tizo drops a moon sign, allies can instantly transport to from their pyre. Whoa. I would not be good at that, but that would be great. The imps of the downfall side flock to the highest points in all the land wherever the moon shines bright. The accursed imp survived the downside oft by remaining well hidden from many dangers. After casting his implodability, Teaser returns much faster. His implodability can banish adversaries in a much wider area. Teaser deals more damage. Yeah. Banish Tizu automatically casts his implode ability if he does not possess the orb. <laughs> when saluting to his adversary, Tizu turns into a fast moving howler or back. What? Wow. If Banish Tizu drops an improved moon sign that boosts ally speed and stamina, amazing. I'm gonna do that though. The influence of the imp scribe. Until the next right. Splendid was your guidance of the Nightwings, Rito. Your fellow are fortunate to have found one such as you. May you find the freedom that you seek. During the rights, exiles are instantly banished if they touch the adversary's aura. Press the space to evade auras. Did I push the wrong button? I must have pushed the wrong button. <gasps> What's that? That's my boy. That's Tizo's thing. After visiting the dissidents, Almost effortlessly, you return to the wagon to recover from the night's ordeal and figure out how best to proceed. Almost, I wonder if like this almost effortlessly stuff is actually a variable to know how close the game was. A triumvirate of anarchists who conduct the rites for sheer thrill, led by the Kerr Barker Ashpaws. You all right, Rookie? I think so, chum. I just need a little time. Didn't count on Barker being caught up in all this. You don't owe him your conscience. We'll sort things out with him. You always do. Mm. I do not wish to interrupt, but the dark of the night is waning. Reader, would you join us outside, please? You find Jodario and the lone minstrel gazing into the sky above the valley, which is beginning to grow pale. Melise. The bog star. The bog star burns bright over a fetid cavern in the flagging hands.
And then, it is as I have feared. We had to press further north, beyond the valley, into the flagging hands. A gloom-filled, desolate region of the downside beyond which lies the sea. A fetid sprawl of noisome, festering, unpleasant adjectives. Basically a disgusting swamp pit. <laughs> the scribes are watching over us. They'll protect us wherever we should go. Had you been to flagging hands, you would not see such things. The scribes have surely turned their backs on this place. If I may, the bleakness of the flagging hands shall wear upon you, to be sure. I urge for you to take what rest you can, for you shall need your strength upon the road ahead. Your fellow exiles agreed to turn in for the remainder of the night. At dawn, you shall have to press deeper into the downside. He seems to have something on his mind. You doing okay? He tells something is troubling Rookie, though he seems relieved to see you. Hey, um, chum, listen. I've got to love you as you real quick. You remember Barker, don't you? Not exactly easy to forget, though believe me, I try. Well, he's got me by the scruff. Koala, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Get a cookie for you. Get a cookie for you. Hello, Ben. I throwed it. It's right there. Eat it. Oh my god. Yeah, it's right there. It's right there. Oh, there it is. Oofus. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. We're just playing a little bit of Pyre. This game is interesting. Never played it before, so. Not sure what's happening, but it's it's uh it's new. It's something different. I've been down here a little while, as you can see by now, but Barker, he's been here longer. He's made quite the name down here. As for me, I need help, you understand? I had a certain standard to uphold. So, I figured he would be the one to ask. And Rookie hesitates. But then his familiar grin returns. So what if I owe him, though, right, chum? I got people back on the other side. And just between us, we're loaded. I mean, rich. My little problem with Barker... What? With Barker, soon it's going to take care of itself. Just as soon as my people send the money through. So, I'm telling you right here and now. Don't you even worry about it. I'm sure everything on that front is going to end up real tidy real soon. Hmm. Seems sussy baka. With that, he scampers off before he can respond. It seems Ruki owes a debt of some sort. What is on the line exactly, you are unsure. He's those nice fairy scraps and things laced together with bits of ribbon and fabric topped off with a plush fish. I love him. Extra cozy? She's just passing out. <laughs> How was your day? Stay in trouble? Continue. Come dawn, you find Hedwin and Jodariel assisting this current situation with the minstrel. Are you more certain? Aye, madame. I make no claim the journey shall be pleasant, but it is necessary. Hedwin motions for you to you as they continue talking. Seems we'll have some work to do once we arrive in the flagging hands. Let's get going. As soon as you're ready, sooner we get out of here, sooner we can leave. I think we're good. Can I go back to the Beetle Dune? We never got to do it. It's acting like I have a choice, but I don't see another one. Let's go that way. I think it's the snow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was supposed to snow here today in real life. Causing trouble wherever you go? I mean, same. That's acceptable. Now, she meant snow in the doggo cam. It's snowing. Anyone want to talk to me? No one wants to talk to me. Oops. Consider how to proceed. The Flying Hands region has an oppressive air about it. There has to be passed forward. The Flying Hands region proves a dis as dismal as Jadariel indicated. There is thick and foul. How far to the pit of Mileith? According to the stars, the next rite shall soon commence here. A fetid den in which in which the witch Mileith sealed the physical form of Islock, Astralborn. That sounds like a Dark Souls or an Elden Ring boss. All the way across the marshlands on the coast. Peter, would you join me in the wagon for a moment? We have matters to discuss. 
Your daughter and Hedwig exchange looks. Then she turns to you. Go see what he wants. Oh, glowing orb. Thank you for your time, reader. I have something for you. On behalf of my client. Before you is an artifact called Beyond Beyonder Crystal. An ancient artifact connected to the rites. Should the reader manage in your eyes, present the crystal only then. Message. Oh, okay. You observe a shimmering crystal of some sort beside the Book of Rites. As you have surmised, the triumvirates you are to confront during the rites shall stop at nothing to prevail against you. They have prepared for this for quite some time. The Beyonder Crystal may help ensure that you are well prepared in turn. It is a resource now at your resource now at your disposal to be used at your discretion. Gaze upon it and you shall see what I mean. Is it gonna tell me the future? The Beyonder Crystal seeks Rookie. What? You look upon the shimmering surface of the Beyonder Crystal. Some of your senses fail, though you retain a hold over your consciousness. An operation appears before you, clad in the raiments of the rites, but incorporeal. Rude. I sense that you are not a total idiot. She reaches for the clasps on her mask. Whoa, hello, you're cool. I like your hair. So the Nightwings have returned. Oh, but where are my manners? You must be their lovely reader. Please, call me Sandra. We met briefly before when you first beheld the book. When you were stuck inside of it. I was among the phantoms your companions banished there, no doubt stroking their egos. Oh, are you one of the ni actual Nightwings? You listened well enough to that damned voice. Now I suggest you listen to well to me. Described within the book, it calls to you during the rites and demands, it reminds you of your exile. I am bound and servitude to you, although along with any idiots whose freedoms happen to be intertwined with yours. I know the rights better than anyone. I soon can whip you into shape if you but take advantage of my services. First, I offer scribe trials for those fiends of yours. If they can pass, it shall be worth their while and yours. Scribe trials. Send your series of special challenges, custom tailored for each of your fellow exiles. Interesting. Is that a way to, like, level them up? Secondly... My beyonders and I avail ourselves for practice rites, should you be so inclined. The spectral triumvirate vanished for eternity and trapped within the rites, led by the wraith called Sandra the Unseeing. No strings training competitions between your fellow exiles and Sandra's beyonders. Or you could always come and chat and briefly free me from an eternity of boredom. Hmm? You invoke Sandra from beyond the crystal, what do you wish to say? <laughs> the effect make a jade execos yeah request of her scribe trial challenge her to her practice right ask her what's on her mind i do appreciate the effort to make small talk with me reader anything to break from the mon monotony of staring at the void within this place not that i could see if i if i tried <laughs> she laughs at this or maybe at herself certainly i could make talk with my fellow beyonders trapped here as they are with me you might accept that we all would keep each other company there's just one problem there, however. We're all sick of one another. She laughs again, perhaps not at her joke, but instead at our predicament. I do not exaggerate to some extent. Or I do exaggerate to some extent, but there's a certain truth to this. We have been stuck together long enough that we have grown more distant rather than more close. But I had best not wear out my welcome with the likes of you, as I have long since done with all the others here. So, carry on for now. And if those fools with whom you travel learn something, come bring them forth to me, and I should see to it that they learn some more. Okay. Let's do a scribe trial. Indeed, it looks like those one of your failures of yours ready for a lesson in pain. You're rude. We shall brave one of Sanders' scribe trials. Um. Let's do the boy. Ineligible. Oh. Oh. Only he's eligible. He's taken an interest in Rookie, prevailing on a unique talisman. You asked Sandra to administer one of her special rites for Rookie. What? The loudmouth cur? 
Well, I suppose he is ready, technically. Though I have a litany of reservations about him. But let us bring him forth. Soon Ruki appears in a heat of summons. Um, chum, why are you looking at me like that? Hmm. Curs such as Ruki Greentail are exceptionally quick and nimble, and the rights, though, tend to deal less. Yeah, we know that. Is it a 1v1? All right, what's the big deal, huh? This is some sort of trick or play a chum. The apparition Sandra then appears and unfastens her mask. Shut your snout and listen well, Kerr. You, li you will answer to me here. What? Your mouth runs quicker than those stubby little paws. You have much to learn if you have an intent to prevail on the rights. Let us see how you fare without the benefit of your trusted comrades. Save for your lovely reader. Uh, I guess it's you and me then, huh, chum? Wherever you are. It's just a 1v1? What? That's not fair. That's three Jodarials. Bang. Bang. Oh, shit. Fuck you. Ah! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm surrounded. Gotta get rid of that. Get rid of him. I didn't get him. Fuck. Smash! Did it. Alright. Nope. Oh, my... Fuck you. And you can get stuck on things. That sucks. Yeah. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, come on, dude. No, no. Fuck you. Oh, the swooshy swoosh. Oh, that was rude. Oh, dicks. Dicks. No, I got stuck. Oh, I got stuck. Jumping over stuff. Oh, you gonna fuck up. Oh, fuck. I squandered it. Fuck you. Oh, I got them both. Pick it up. Why you gotta be so far away? Go, go, go. No! Dex! Bam! Got him. Yeah. Shit. Me first! Oh, oh! Come on! No! This is hard. Fuck you. Why are you gonna jump twice? Uncool, bro. No! She just dunked on me. That's not fair that you gotta jump twice. Fuck you. That missed? Oh. No! No! I was right there! I was right there. This is just unfair to the millionth degree. I'm going. No. No. You can't touch me. Get in there! Oh! Oh god, I'd score one more time, bro. Eat shit. Ah! Keep your green goop to yourself. Oh, your bo I thought I knocked them all out. Oh, I did. Go, 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 go. Oh, I'm the best at this game. I look like a Dratini. I'm actually not. That was pure luck right there. Holy crap, that was hard. That is how we do it, right, chum? It is. And you acknowledge, likewise, that you did not do it on your own. Despite having to face my demon fiends all by yourself. That sucked. Three of them? You passed my test, Kerr. Congratulations are in order. Both to you and to your lovely reader. Now, farewell. Literacy has been forbidden in the Commonwealth for centuries after the inventions of the stamping press led to a sudden spread of... I... 
Didn't get to finish that. Dangerous something? Okay, what did I get? That Sandra kind of gives me the shakes, you know what I mean, Sheldon? Hey, what's that you got? I got a Domir Fang for completing Rookie's Child. After Rookie casts his aura, it lingers longer than usual. Okay. Thanks. Awesome. Neat. I suppose I could give that to him. You find everyone is feeling rather miserable. You sense just being in the flag er, flagging hands eats away at one's spirit. Only the Mtzo seems unaffected. Once your fellow exiles lost one hope. Oh fuck, bro! Suffer alongside them. A moment, Rita. There are several courses we may need to take through flagging hands. If you choose to prolong your stay, it may be worth your while. However, your companion's spirit shall likely suffer more. Is it permanent? I didn't read it. Oh god. Hallowfield. The south route through the flagging hands crosses diseased and withered plants. Gross. The lone minstrel says you can improve a talisman if you take a job here. Oh, but I want it. Middle route through cuts through the pit. Cuts straight through the pit of my, my lease. Edwin suggests taking this faster route will reduce your companion's loss of hope. Yeah, hope that's rough. The north route crosses a mass grave. The lone minstrel says you can get a valuable item if you take a job here. Oh, God. The loot goblin in my brain is telling me I have to do it. Oh, we're going to lose so much hope. The north route is dismal beyond reckoning. There's little talk among your group, yet you sense despair encroaching. Only Tizo seems unaffected. Fuck. Later, or later, you accompany Lone Minstrel in pursuit of his task here. Speak not directly to the living shade and be true to your heart when responding to its inquiries. And make no attempt to look it in the eye. The Lone Minstrel offers these weird words and other words of advice as you approach the burial mounds of Coldmoat, where many exiles of the downside see their final days. Even a thorough burning failed to cleanse a certain haunted air here. Eugh. Oh, hey, friend. A glimmer of a shade appears before you and stands surrounded by the dead. You barely see it, and it does not speak, but you feel it. Feel its thoughts through piercing your heart and mind. According to the shade, the book that you possess may lay some of the fallen here to rest. The shade leaves you to your work. You turn through the book, locating passages concerning freedom and the spirit. You recite such words as be seem best fit to each of the fallen you see. It is draining work. The shades resurfaces after a while. It leads you to a hollowed stump, then fades away. I found a shroom! I knew it was just going to be money. Damn it! She went and got the, the trinket. Is that Diet Gandalf? Wait, you talking, uh... The minstrel? <laughs> I don't know. He He's just kind of a... A loafer that apparently plays music. Doesn't really do anything else. By the time you reach the pit of my lease, everyone besides the imp Tizo seems to be feeling even worse than before. You sense their desire to leave this place as soon as possible. Fuck, I've lost three hope. Here. Oh, hey guys, you know that place. A lot of folks, but not a lot of customers. You know what I mean? Uh, have a look around. All right, um, I can send a little of the shroom. Grants the bearer plus two presents. Oh, I need it. Grants the bearer plus two hope. Grant while carrying the orb, the bearer moves faster. I want this. Thanks, buddy. See you guys. Okay. We want. You find Ruki rummaging in the corner of the black, black wagon. Hey, Jim. You know what? It's good having somebody else here around besides these two. So I'll come to speak of it. Think of it. There's something I wanted to get your take on, and you have to be promised to tell me I'll be honest, right? Uh, What'd you say? Yes, uh, what I mean is, uh... He, hes he hesitates, trying to find the words. Ah! Uh, look, what I'm trying to say is, um... You sense something serious is troubling him. He moves in very close, making sure no one else is in earshot. It's about my mustache. I've been getting some conflicting reports about it. 
Would you say my mustache that it makes me look a bit, you know, unscrupulous? Rookie okay, wishes to know if you think his mustache suits him. Uh, it is very handsome. If anything, gives him a distinguished sort of look. <laughs> something, something about it makes him appear less trustworthy and perhaps less youthful too. His appearance is not your concern, nor is a drawn-out discussion on personal grooming. I think I might say better. Yeah, he does look less trustworthy. Is it going to piss him off? You suggest that Rookie might appear more presentable without the mustache. He stares upward at the ceiling for several moments and breathes a sigh. I'll be right back. Then he scurries away. You hear him making quite a racket for a while. Just had to go take care of something real quick. Jump. Now, if you excuse me, I got to go check the wheels again for mites. He bounds off out of the wagon. Oh, he got hope. Yes. Shit. That means I should use him. It was not long before the empire began to crumble. With my liege gone, his own country quickly turned upon itself. I must admit that the collapse had started long before the emperor's disappearance. His decision to give chase after a myth, but hasten the inevitable. Inevitable. All the while, the rope collar stood by, awaiting such a time as he could rule in my liege's stead. He would be our people's savior. His first charge was to organize a search for the missing Sol Solium Myrrh. Warriors, pathfinders, and scholars heard the call and prepared to seek him out. Okay. Well, I might have to... Shit. Now I have to bring him. What am I going to give you? Um... Sure. After banishing an adversary, the bearer gains one. Mm. Your presence is massive, dude. But watch this. Oh, that's so fucked. Literally just covers that whole area. It's amazing. What if I do this? Um, it didn't change. It lied to me. Oh, it took two upgrades. Oh my God. <laughs> this is stupid. I love it. I'm just going to set her in the middle and no one will be able to pass her. Commence the right. As you make preparations for the coming right, you wonder if the stars above will even be visible through the dense fog hanging over the pit of Miley's. Then, I love him. Hezo <laughs> seems to be very concerned by something in the vicinity. The little imp disappears in a hurry. Away. Oh, is Hezo all right? He was so frightened. He was not frightened. He was issuing a warning. Silence. Everyone take cover. Jordario makes a quick note of several hiding places among the nearby crags and rotted husks. You wait. Something about the place dampens your senses. All you feel is a creeping dread. Whoa, you look cool. Then from the shadows, a writhing shape slides forward. Its hulking form draped in raiments. The shape stops slowly. Its head turns from one of your... From one of you to the next, each in turn. Wise of you, ye you to hide yourselves from us, little night wings. Ye just best on the resting place of the astral horn. We shall see ye when the stars muster the courage to illuminate this place. The creature vanishes in the dark. After a time, your companions reconvene. That was a bog crone. Serpentine creatures native to the Commonwealth's southern bogs, widely feared. Though formerly part of the Commonwealth, the bog crones tend to keep to themselves. Indeed, that was which Udmelda of the Withdrawn. She is an ancient witch with an unhealthy obsession for Islak, the astral-born monstrosity. A triumvirate of bog dwellers compelled by sinister forces rather than by freedom, led by the crone witch Udmelda. I love him. Hezo makes clear he has no love for Udmilda. 
Although the, although the rights dictate she cannot harm you your bo you bodily, with her, let's not take unnecessary chances. We'll take what chances we can get in all of this. Everyone, it's time. I'm guessing they're gonna fuck me up. Like, uh, with my hope, my respawn time sucks. And they might have stats that make my recent uh, my respawn time be even worse. Maybe I should bring people back that faster. Your fellow exiles gain enlightenment after each right, whether they prevail or not. The only failure is to stray from what? Why you made it, Rita. Is that a heart? Made it all the way to the detestable pit of Melief. In doing so, of course, you have disturbed your ancient adversaries. The withdrawn. The deranged witch who leads the mask. So you can actually live or fail and it doesn't like stop you. All right. The crone of Un Udmilda sees your companions gathered by their pyre. A little flame as that shall never warm ye here, much less survive the night. Hear us, Islak. Make the night wings suffer. A monstrosity described in myths and ballads, though slain by the eight scribes even in death the astral born yet feeds upon our world unsated by its own no don't oh i don't want you to have to i don't want you on my team you can transfer from your ranks listen here you old bag you don't scare any of us one bit you and your buddies like now are we doing this or what the question hangs in the air for longer than it is comfortable it does seem to have drawn Ud udmilda's attention however Ruki begins to squirm a bit. Then Udmilda moves her slender fingers to her mask. Oh shit. Foolish. His lack shall grow. His lack shall grow. His lack shall grow. He shall consume ye. Ere your little flame has died, that we shall ensure. Udmilda slides off towards her followers. Ruki remains motionless for a time. Uh, oops. Okay, what do you got? Do I get to choose anyone? Sick, I can choose anyone. Uh, absolutely. Queen Stomp. Love her. Uh, that could be useful. I'm gonna bring her. Because if she gets banished, she might be able to come back quicker. And I'm gonna bring the boy. Should I save? Shit. Is it a roguelite? Tizo. Very well. Scree! <laughs> Tizo is ready to take on the withdrawn alongside Jordarl and Ray. No matter where he go, he's like shall find ye and devour ye. Alright. Who the fuck do you think you are? Yeah, get stomped. Boom! The boy, the boy, the boy, the boy! Oh, got nothing! The boy doing work. Oh shit, that was the wrong button. Oh god, you got an aura. Ah! Oh, did I make it? I made it. Oh, I'm so good! Fuck you. What the fuck? That was rude. Woo! Ha ha! The little boy and his little jumps! He's so good! The lifeblood of Islag, it flows within this lair. And beneath this world is lifeblood. It shall engulf ye in such blackness and despair. What are you doing? No. No. I don't want to fuck with that. Shit. 
Get fucked. Oh yeah, you better dodge. Oh! Oh, what the dunk! Oh! Jodario! Fucking queen! Get dunked on! Yeah, I got nothing. Got nothing! Nothing, 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 nothing! You got nothing! That was awesome. Jodario's awesome. I love her. It would seem our adversaries failed to unnerve us. The scribes, they vanquish his like just as we prevailed tonight. <laughs> Shit, I meant to read that. Yes, like we have failed thee, and the deed shall be repaid in blood. As for ye fools, ye shall be consumed, and everything around ye, from the soil to the stars. Ye shall see. Headwind gains. Whoa! We got a shit ton of stuff. Amazing. Look at us doing work. Can I upgrade my friends? No one leveled up? During the rites, position exiles near each other and they shall link auras. Linked auras are significantly larger. Oh! I thought that was just kind of a, a thing that I was seeing, but it's true. Having prevailed against Withdrawn in his decisive victory, you and the others have some moments to recover from the ordeal and the relative safety of the Black Wagon. So, when can we get out of here? What green tail had enough? What? Greentail had enough of Unmilda's hospitality for the time. Oh, Jody, yeah, thanks, I'm good. The reader and the stars will point the way as ever. It's just, so far, we've kept on going north, if that's the case again this time. The Sea of Solus spread north and west from here. We're untold leagues. I could not tell you when last a vessel dared to sail those waters. Sea of Solus, an impossible oceanic expanse pockmarred by the crude little islets. Attempts to sail across the drowned sea do not usually turn out so well. Hizo asserts himself during the conversation. What is the matter, little one? Hizo is trying to get you to come look at something outside the wagon. Reader, Reader please go see what he wants. You excuse yourself and follow the imp into the dark of night. You find Ray and the Lone Mitchell already, already gazing up at the stars. Can you not read the stars yourself, Mr. Minstrel? I fear it is not as simple as matters of can or cannot when it comes to me, Ray. We shall see what the reader has to say, for this is his charge. And here he is, in fact. Thank you for fetching him, Dizo. Dizo is happy to have obliged the Lone Minstrel. Reader. It would seem the skies have cleared to some extent. Please, look upon the stars and see where they compel us to go next. But I want to go get that trinket that was down there. Where is it? Oh no, I wanted to read it. Shit. Whoa. You. I look like character from D&D. The rites beckon you still further north, toward the middle of the Sea of Solace. That's not good. You're joking, right, chum? Does the reader seem... Oh, wait. Wait, wait. Does the reader seem to the jo seem the joking type to you, Greentail? We do not argue with the stars. You, you talk like we can just go ride right out under the water. Pardon my interruption, though. Perhaps we can. Say what? My client, Sandalwood. He has a way of anticipating such eventualities. But Sephir lies a place called Big Bertrude's. The proprietor is an old companion of his. She may be able to assist us. Assist us. Big Bertrude, a small bog dweller outpost at the edge of the sea. All sorts of contraband used to come through here, some of it fatal if touched or inhaled. Oh boy. 
Edwin's smile returns. That sounds like our best shot right now. Let's pack it up and move as soon as possible. Greetings, reader. It is good that you are here, for there is something that I wish to tell you privately. You have a moment. I should not keep you long, though. I know your time is precious. The woman troubles to tell you something of the rights. Sure. You bid him to continue and make clear your interest in whatever he has to say. Very well. And to thank you for your time, and I should further note, matters that pertain directly to the rights I must reveal to you alone. For thus, I am obliged. In any case, when you confronted the withdrawn, the witch Udmilda, you might recall she tended to invoke a certain name. Islak, the astral born. I hesitate to say it even now. You would be forgiven if you took the ra ravings of Udmilda to for mere nonsense. However, her words, as it turns out, ring with a certain truth. Before the union of the eight scribes, when first they found themselves out here in the downside, this land was even less hospitable if that can be believed. It was ruled over by the greater titans. The one called Islacht was the eldest and most fearsome of the lot. Plus monsters that once roamed the downside, the scribes together slew them one by one and through this forged their bonds. Just the same, the scribes managed to defeat it. They later used Islacht's own hide and ichor to bind the books of rites. However, Islacht did not truly die, for by some accounts it seems to be incapable of death. The creature is regenerating, even now, though very, very slowly. Its vow, its vow is to devour this land and everything in it. Only then can it return onto whatever plane that banished it to ours. So, in a way, it is an exile just like you. If ever should the creature be reborn, it shall be mainly ages hence. Thus the ravings of Udmilda are more or less inconsequential for the while. Yet, the history of Islacht is inexact. In in I can't pronounce that word. inexorably linked to the rites, and therefore must be known. I trust your research of the book shall lead you to discover more in time. I hope all this is of some reassurance, and now I leave you to your more immediate concerns. I shall go check to see how everyone is fair faring at this time. He heads out into the evening, bidding you a good rest of the evening. Sandra Stannis arguing with the Phantom. You call for me, lovely reader. You know, invoke Sandra from the Beyond the Crystal. What do you wish to do? That's what's on her mind. Are you sloshing all the way across the flagging hands right now? A hideous place, or so I understand, for I can neither see it nor experience its wondrous aroma as you shall again. Although perhaps you are accustomed to it now. The night wings of the past misliked the place. Of that I can assure you. We share a common misery. Now, please leave me to mine unless there is service you require me to render at this time. Will you let me... Shander deems none of your fellow exiles worthy. Okay. She... So she chooses when I get to do that. Got it. Later. Onwards. Big Bertrude. Ugh. Come on, Nick. Isn't that the name of a tank in a game? Big Bertrude? No. This is the place. Let us go to see my client's companion as soon as you are ready. Nothing I can do, so... Unless I can click this. Nothing. Big Bertrude? Big Bertrude is a sickly gathering of bog dwellers who stay within shadows, yet you can feel their eyes surveying everything. The lone minstrel steps forward. Sandalwood sent us. Those words are enough to make the bog dwellers snap to attention. They emerge from the mud and dark and begin inspecting your black wagon with their strange tools. Oh, goodness. One of the bog dwellers slithers forth. She is larger than the rest and leaves no doubt that she commands the other. Thou speakest the name Sandalwood. We would know his whereabouts. We reveal them to us. Good day to you, Big Bertrude. It's a pleasure to meet you at last. For Sandalwood always spoke highly of you and your handiwork. Hmm. Indeed, indeed. 
Enter, and we know who thou must be. Yet thou speakest of the past. Sandalwood doth he yet live. Speak plainly and quickly. To be quite frank with you, madam, I do not know for certain. For I have been apart from him for some time, carrying out his will. Though I have every faith that I, Sandalwood, lives. As for his current whereabouts, I understand that he awaits us somewhere near Wakingwood beyond the waters. Wakingwood? A labyrinth of a forest of the western half of the Black Basin. You know their way around it. The path to the sacred mount, Elodiel, lies far beyond these suffering woods. We wish to seek him there. Though as you can see, our wagon is ill-suited for the task. The one called Brutrude frowns at this, studying the lone minstrel all the while. Hmm... Indeed. Then leave us. We turn at dawn. That is all. By your grace, Big Gertrude. The lone minstrel turns away, but Hadwin stops him. Hold on. You sure about this? Leaving the wagon in their care? All should be in accordance to my with my client's plan. You keep calling Sandalwood your client. He must reward you well. I, in a manner of speaking, he helped me find a sense of purpose I thought lost. Edwin nods at this, then turns to you. Well, my friend, I guess we'll see what happens, right? I'm off to let the others know. You find yourself with time for your vocations. The bog dwellers go about their business. What do we want to do? Uh, Search your surrounding areas for valuables. Hone your skills to read your grant small global bonuses. To your fellows exiles during the rites. Teach your fellow exiles of the old ways to raise their individual rank. Yeah, I I like that because, but I wonder, like these studies in private. I want to know how those work. If it's a one-time thing, then it's a waste. You find a relatively quiet clearing to study the Book of Rights with undivided attention. Through greater understanding comes the reader's influence. Attribute bonuses you bestow on all of your fellow exiles who participate in the rites. Oh! That's huge! The Triumvir, whose reader is well attuned to the book, has an inherent edge against its adversaries. Whoa! Focus on which aspect of the book of rites? Its fundamental purpose. Glory. Its innate mystic power. Its authors and their prowess. Its teachings and their wisdom. Currently ranked two. Master the other aspect. Oh, that's it. Let's get quickness. Concentrate on your book of knowledge of the eight scribes and how together they compose the book of rites among their many faiths. Inspiration comes to you in a flash. Whether from the book or from within, you cannot tell. I got the inf reader's influence celerity. All Nightwings gain plus one quickness. Hell yeah. All right, we're going to do that from now on. Stat bonuses. We love it. The Lone Mitchell finds you early the next day. Rita, it is ready. Please. Have a look. The others are already here. The lone minstrel beckons you to come see the wagon. Oh, we got a lot of stuff. <gasps> look, a fish! We have a fish tank! The black wagon appears different now that, than it ever than it did even a day before. The hull is fully sealed and reinforced, and all manner of nautical equipment adorns the port side. They made a submarine. I. Wow. The people seeing this? I'm gonna have a look around. The wagon should be fit for a sea voyage. Let us depart at your earliest convenience. What about Big Bertrude? She then appears as if on cue. Tell that sandalwood he owes us twice over. If I may, Big Bertrude, you could tell him yourself if you wish to accompany us on our voyage north. Our group would welcome someone of your vast experience. Oh god, you piss her off. Dare thee make flirtations upon us. No, I... Enough. But should ye see the sandalwood, tell him also to come and visit us again. 
Now be gone from here and tell no one that we were paid in favors. She slithers off without another word. Soon the lone minstrel breaks the silence. We are fortunate that she assisted us. But we should go, just as she said. I know no I know the navigational controls and shall explain. This is so exciting. I don't know how to swim. She's excited and doesn't know how to swim. Kizo seems to share Ray's enthusiasm for heading out to sea. I am beginning to feel ill already. I'm seaworthy! Hell yeah, dude. What a clever game. Off to the Worm Gulf. You do not yet. You have not yet been to this region of the downside. Before she left, Big Bertrude shared knowledge of a current that should draw you out to sea. Splash! Look at our little boat! Adorable. Is that a big monster? Worm Gulf. You and your companions watch the sea as your wagon rose over the gentle waves. We have crossed the Worm Gulf. I hope that all of you are acclimating well. The tempestuous sea of Solus lies beyond this dead, death still body of water. Exiled worms from the sea dominion naturally congregate around here. Oh boy. There is no acclimate. Whoa. There is no acclimating to these worm infested waters. We risk everything to sail here. As long as we follow the cold current Big Bertrude indicated, we shall be safe. If the next ride is in the middle of the sea, how will our adversaries meet us there? They shall find their way as we find ours. It is all part of the scribe's design. Now, reader, please confirm the next point of our sea journey. We seek the Hulk of Oars. According to the stars, the next rite shall soon commence here. A carcass of doomed exploring vessel Dazrabon lost in the waters of the downside. We have to go underwater? That doesn't sound good. Studded waters on the coast of the plaguing hands. Bertrude's instructions are to navigate the maze of maws in a curving route bearing northeast. I really hope I don't actually have to lead it. How did I just hop over? The art in these games is just so well done. Am I lagging? I feel like I'm lagging. The wagon continues rolling gently across the waves, which seems to you a welcome change of pace after having come from flagging hands not very long ago. However, Jodariel seems more concerned now than before and paces ceaselessly. When she notices Ruki, she stops him from some question stops him for some questioning. Greentail, how is he doing? Ooh, Edmund? Oh, he's pretty much the same. Been up all night, retching into the waters, if I had to guess. First time out to sea? Is first. She turns to you. Reader. Please check on Hedwin when you have the opportunity. He requires our support, and we require his swift recovery. You wish them a good afternoon as you go check up on the others in the group. Why do you find Hedwin looking out of sorts? Oh, hello, my friend. It's just, the sea hasn't been good for me, I guess. It's funny. All this trouble just to get back to the Commonwealth, of all places. Hey, tell me something. What do you miss the most about this place? He wants to know what you miss about your past life. Perhaps the food. Oh, the friends. You tell him that there were those who did support you over the years, and then it pained you now to be apart from them. Yeah, I hear you, friend. There's someone I miss terribly back there myself. I'm sure that when you make it out of here, your loved ones, loved ones will be waiting. Anyway, I, I'll be fine, I think. Thank you for checking up on me. You sense he wishes to be alone. There's not much to be done for him now. It appears Hedwin is too ill to conduct the next rite. May he get well soon. I am sorry for my interruption, Rita. Please again confirm the next point of our voyage. Is it random who gets sick and stuff? I'm assuming that isn't. According to Boucher, the celestial landmark you seek is beyond the strait. Am I going to get eaten by something? 
Ooh, this is pretty. That looks like Dr. Seuss stuff. Like, literally there, the, the tuft trees. We're in Dr. Seuss land. Those! By the scribes. The sea I didn't know was so beautiful. Having escaped the waters of Worm Gulf, you can now see what must be the Hulk of Wars far on the horizon. Not everyone has taken wells to the sea voyage, however. Oh, don't be sad. Tizo was wondering if Hedges was feeling better. Oh, I love him. I love Tizo. He requires further rest. Tizo, all we can do is wish him a swift recovery. Reader, sir, from this point, our voyage must diverge from Bojo's instructions. Please consult with your companions about which course to take. Under King Pass, Fathomless Trench. Ray believes that the East Tribes will bless you here. Tizo wants to fish for something tasty here. Oh. Oh. But I want to help him. But we can get blessed. Let. Uh. I don't know if the blessing is permanent. That's probably just money. I love our little boat. You find Ray gazing down into the depths. The water is so very beautiful, and yet it's very dangerous. I always said it's very dangerous if you fall in or drink enough of it. But the scribes, they have protected us and they are watching us. I just know. Even out here in the waters of Under King Wars, they urge us on. I feel it. I just know. Seventh of the eight scribes of the Book of Rites, known as the per Persevering. Or the sea sojourner, the legendary leader of the worms undersea crusades, sought to reach the edge of the abyss. There is no denying that the north current sends you quickly on your way. Perhaps it is the thought of reaching land again, but you can sense the spring in everybody's step. It is temporary shit. Damn it! Should have went the other way. At last you arrive at the Hulk of Oars. After journeying across the sea, it seems the next right is the common is to commence here soon, though there is no sign of your next adversaries yet. Oh, our friend is here. Oh hey, I'll talk to you. Hell yeah. Reader, a moment of your time. You ask what is on our mind. Edwin. He is beginning to recover from his illness. However, its sudden onset serves as a reminder, I believe. I have known Hedwin since he was a child. Even now, I hesitate to say that he has grown. Nevertheless, there are such things that even I would never say to him directly. For instance, I struggle with his confidence at times. Whether he leads us to our freedom or our doom, I am ambivalent. Speak not a word of this to him, of course, in case that is unclear. I shall tell him in my own way if and when the time requires. In any case, when time... When times remind me of his mortal weaknesses, I end up having to consider what should happen should we become separated permanently. She trails off a while. What I mean to say is, you should know that I am fully pledged now to this quest of ours, whether Hedwin is the one to lead us to its end or not. I have my reasons. One of them is him. I expect the same holds true for you. That is all I wish to say. Take care, reader. She nods and brushes past you toward the door. I like her. She's awesome. Ooh. We got books. We got a bell. Among the black and seafaring equipment, Hedwin uses it to signal when food is ready. Oh, shit. Oops. Oh, you just kept ringing on that bell, chum. Keep at it. Ricky seems to be taking issue with your frivolous use of the nautical bell. After all, there is no sign of nautical emergency, nor a prepared meal. Oh, I know it's not meal time. It's fine. I'm starting to really enjoy the constant ringing sound, though. Now that it doesn't mean anything to me or any anyone anymore. Besides, ringing that bell is properly some pretty good ex exercise, right? It's good training for my ears, too. You know, we curs have ultra sensitive hearing, don't you? Well, not anymore, I don't. <laughs> anyway, thanks. I mean that. He storms off. Rookie shall never forgive you for abusing the nautical bell. <laughs> Rookie appears laughing heartedly. He was only joking. Thank God, probably. Oh, I'm glad he's just goofing off with me. 
What is this? Silver cudgel head. A limbless, cold-blooded creature rescued from the sea is fully grown and has led a rich life. Keeps up from the worm gulf. What a fucking clever game. Okay, she doesn't care. Or she doesn't have anything. I'm assuming I'll just have to pay attention to it glowing. So this is made of skin. That's gross. Emperor Sol Solian Murr knew not of this, of course. His expedition yielded not the treasure he desired, but brought him closer to his country than he had ever been before. As he traveled down the river Skor Skorian, Sklorian, in pursuit of greed, he found himself instead of inkling of shame. Found instead an inkling of shame. There he is. He saw the sunken faces of his people, heard their words for him. In time, he could not ignore it, and it proved more than he could bear. The river finally claimed him, his belongings, and his retinue. Once people heard, I understand they cried with joy. Perhaps he ought have perished, but the mercy shown to him, I think, is what transformed him. I don't think I have any money. Hey, hey guys. Funny running into you out here, right in the middle of the drink. Know what I mean? Not a lot of customers today, so have a look. It'll be a good deal. You got new stuff. Thorns not. When an aura ca when aura casting raises the bear's maximum range. Oh, those got more expensive. Oh. Wait a minute. This is that doesn't make sense. This should be eight. Based on grants the bear plus two hope. Carrying the orb moves faster. Later, bro. I'll see you around, guys. All right. It is ten o'clock. I'm gonna say let's commence the right. Having landed in the Hulk of Wars, you and your fellow exiles now anticipate the hour that the rights are to make it to commence again. What do you think, Tizo? Don't I just look like just? Don't I look just like Mr. Hadwin? Mm -hmm. Tizo was worried that Hadwin is still feeling unwell. Oh. Wait. I think. What's that? A serpentine creature emerges from the water, followed by several others of its kind. You recognize it as a worm of the sea dominion. The vast and word horn undersea regimen, home to the untold numbers of amphibious worms. Having conquered their waters, the worms declambered onto the Commonwealth shores in search of new wars. What they all are doing here, you see plain by their ritual raiments. The nearest one somehow loosens its mask. Holy crap. Good sirs and good ladies! So it is you that heed the summons to glorious competition against the knights and his brigade. Well then, let us do battle now without delay. More than our freedom is at stake here, but our very honor. And this knight fully intends to reclaim his. Oh! And lest this knight forget, he is called Sir Gilman. He salutes you on all behalf of the Pie Hearts. Until the contest. He is, once, he is a once proud knight of the Sea Dominion on self made quest to regain his honor. Pie Hearts, a triumvirate and worm knights who perceive the rights as a great battle to be won. He splashes out of view just as the stars above begin to shimmer with strange light. Little, uh, sea eels? Is that, is that what's going on here? The glory attribute affects how much damage... Yeah, okay. I gotta remember I switched my buttons. I keep trying to push the W button. It doesn't do anything. Excuse me. You would be wise not to underestimate your adversaries here, despite their pitiable look. I am, of course, referring to the Pyre Hearts. These rites are but another war to them, and that makes you their mortal enemy. I expect holes in the ground. Can I fall on those? Glorious. Oh shit. Okay. Weird. Frail exiles are gathered on the rotting deck of the Hulk of Wars. As your adversaries clamber to view, Rookie paws that up to them. 
Say, what are you worms even doing here? Can't you just swim back to the Commonwealth or the Sea Dominion or wherever it is you're from? Aha! An excellent point! It seems that these adversaries in the rights are clever, wouldn't you say, sire? Just get rid of them already, Gilman. As your commanding officer, this knight hereby commands it. Hark! This knight wishes to introduce his noble commander. No worm knight in history has withstood as many frontline battles. Doff your helm, sire, as is our custom. The adversaries tremble at the sight of you. Sir Gilman intends to his commander's mask despite his protests. It looks like a little alien. Uh, wait! Uh, give, the, give this knight his mask! This knight hereby presents you the great Sir Deluge! A noble visage, is it not? He's a pretty petty worm knight of the Sea Dominion who somehow survived countless battles. Sir Deluge trembles and squirms. Uh, so yes, you can swim too, or no? Ha! Of course we knights can swim! All knights of the Sea Dominion can! But we are exiles in this land, and same as ye, we can swim, tis true. But tis similarly impossible to swim back up the river down which we are flush to end up here. Nay, there is but one way to return. Silence, Gilliman! Nobody goes back to your post! Sir Gilman hesitates, but does as he is told. This, this, this knight knows who you are, Nightwing. Uh, he's not afraid of you. He somehow climbs back into his mask and coils up. To his full height. Now in guard! The exiles of the worm triumvirate take their positions as you focus on the Book of Rights. Reader, Edwin's illness means he cannot help us here. He shall be counting on us. That's fine. Who shall stand together here yep. This night? Um. Yep. And the boy! It is done. Great ha! He doesn't seem intimidated by the slightest, but they serve Gilman and Sir Deluge. I love that he's like. Super awesome. Gilman, that is reward. What is the enemy's position? They now stand ready to confront us, sire. A very brave framework they seem to this night's eye. Brave, brave! They are sucking monsters, one and all! My hearts! Be ready! They look like little turrets. Oh god, that's a long way to move. Oh shit. Hey, we did it. Ooh. Zing! Ew, gross. Boom! I'm not good at switching between my people. It fucked. Woo! Oh, wait, wait, why didn't that work? Whoa, what the fuck? Whoa! How did I just... Woo! He went so far! Oh! Oh! Faithful Drifter, I don't know I got that, but that's... Hell yeah. Gilman! Ye are for him, sloppy fight them as though your miserable life is on the line! Your words do wound me, sire. This knight gives every right his very, very best. Though perhaps we do have much to learn from such a brave triumvirate as the one whom we now face. Uh, who side you on? Get out there and vanquish them once and for all. Our adversaries stand divided. Let us take advantage of the opening. Let's go. Dissension in your adversaries' ranks. Tis little wonder these fool worm knights are no longer fit to serve the Commonwealth. How come what's her name hasn't come back? Boop, 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 boop. So it is. They just kind of stood over there. Nice. 
three points for me. Now end the ceremony. Got him. Zing! Woo! Boom! Sometimes that they were able to like launch. Is it the the holes in the ground? Kick the asses! We clapped them cheeks. Right. It's ended. Hmm. I expected more from the Worm Knights of the Sea Dominion. The sea was making me a little queasy, honestly. But we still won. We won. Jesus was very pleased to have prevailed against the Worm Knights of the Priarchs. This knight commends you, noble knight wings. Gloriously fought, indeed. And this knight shall wistfully remember his defeat until the end of his days. Silence, Gilman. This is all your fault. Now, cavorting with our enemies. How dare you? This knight was but attempting honorary compliments, sire. It is not in accordance with the rights to praise one's adversary of worthy outcome. Worthy? This knight will show you worthy, you made a little minnow. You are a failure, Gilman. No, get out of this knight's sight. Is Gilman gonna try join my team now? Because he's kind of a dick. Oh, those are the level up bars. Oh, so close. Until the stars align. Each exile can have a talisman equipped. They grant significant advantage and rates, especially when upgraded with Stardust. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How far can you upgrade them? After defeating the, defeating the Pie Hearts rather decisively, you at last return to the wagon with your companions. There's little discussion of the Pie Hearts who seem to have already swam off toward wherever next the stars directed them. Instead, your fellow exile's attention turns toward your commanding who has been absent for the right. How is Hedwin? The lone minstrel makes a sound, but no words form as yet. Something is troubling him. He... I urged him to remain bedridden. And? And? And... He... He simply would not listen. I'm very sorry, but... What? Everyone stares at the lone minstrel in sun silence. The lone minstrel breathes a heavy sigh, but then... Hey, what's with the long faces, everyone? Minstrel, I should wring that neck of yours. As I was attempting to explain, Edwin is already up and about. Despite my having strongly recommended further rest. Those that are unaccustomed to sea voyage and take ill, they are very likely to experience further symptoms. If they do not remain bedridden, or at least sedentary. Edwin is running a considerable risk of having to spend another night in great discomfort. What are you, a doctor? Nay, although I traveled once with one extensively. Look, I appreciate your caution and concern, Tariq, but I'm pretty well accustomed to discomfort here, and I had to see how things turned out tonight. I haven't had to stay out of the right like that before. I like every time. So, you are back among the living then, Edwin. I was just seasick. Nevertheless, your full recovery requires let rest. I think we'd all use some rest after tonight. Anyway, thank you everyone for your concern, and I'm sorry that I worried you or caused you further burden. He turns to you. My friend, what do you say we figure out where to go next? I'm beginning to miss being on solid ground. You follow him outside where the nice guy awaits. Hey, I wanted to thank you for conducting the right back there without me being there. I could rest it easy knowing you and the others would get through it. Anyway, I'll leave you to your reading. Can't begin to imagine where we'll be off next. We're well past anywhere in the downside I've ever been. Even Jody hasn't gone this far. He bids you good evening as you turn your attention back to the sky. The stars shine upon you. All right. I gotta wait for this the save symbol. Oh crap! That's the second one I missed. Whoa. Phoenix horse. Still further north then. Not simply north, this shall prove difficult. What's the problem? Our destination is beyond the deathless tempest. A vessel such as ours has little hope of it traversing it intact. Tempest raging the sea of solace seemingly all eternity. The storm that arose after the death of the sea titan unfathomed Plurens never has entirely subsided. 
Can we go around it? Given our confrontation with the Pyre Hearth, our chances back in worm-held waters would be even worse. Come on, people! It'll just be another day in the downside. Get yourself some sleep We can s while we still can. You'll feel better in the morning. Your optimism is infectious. Isn't it? You all concur that the rest is in order, for the sea journey has been taxing to everyone. Come daybreak, you shall find a way to sail past the Deathless Tempest. There's the save. Hi! Oh, hi, mister. I'm so happy right now. I'm happy because I was so worried about Mr. Hedwin for a while there, you know? He was so kind to me when we first met. Him and Miss Jodariel and Mr. Greentail and you too. But I just really like him. She sighs. She seems happy to be here. Say, do you, um... She tails off for a moment. You think he likes me too? Ray's wondering... Oh, shit. No, no, not... No, don't. <sighs> change the subject. It must be changed to redirect her attention to something less awkward. Ray should know Hedwin enjoys the company, but you may not share her feelings beyond that. She's wondering how Hedwin feels about her. Yeah, talk to him. She's... You suggest to Ray that if she has certain feelings for Hedwin, that she should let him know. It's a rare privilege to feel loved. She stares at you a moment. Then she begins to laugh. Oh, you're silly, mister. I didn't mean him like him like that. That's so embarrassing. Besides, I think that maybe he's a little too old, you know? I'm going to go cheer him up. That is, this is a funny story. She bounds off, leaving you to ponder what just happened exactly. In one hope. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, my friends. This is uh, where I'm going to have to call it for the evening. Um, I'm loving this game. Um, yeah, it's... It's it's more like a visual novel with a tiny bit of gameplay in it, but it's fun. And I'm enjoying, you know, the world and everyone around it. There's a lot of lore to consume. Um, but I'm enjoying it. So um, maybe Thursday... Uh, excuse me. We'll pick up on this. I, I had a uh, tentative... Elden's, Elden, Eldest Souls. Yes. Um, I, we played the demo of it a while back. It's just a boss rush game. Um, but it's a few hours long. Uh, if I could beat it in the normal average time. So, um, I guess that's up in the air. Or we'll just continue playing this and then, I don't know when, how long this is. Um, but maybe we'll play some more of this on the weekend. Tomorrow, the plan, the plan, as it sits now, is uh, to play Back for Blood, continue the campaign that we left off last time we played last i don't know one of these weekends or something and um uh because the act six is out so we might be able to get to that i don't know remember how far we actually got um but uh, i know yeti's gonna be there space might um and uh haven't heard back from mari yet she was involved so um unfortunately if we don't get mari we'll get um someone else to fill in a slot or something but um Look forward to the watch party for Vox Machina on this weekend as well. And, uh, yeah. Everything's kind of up in the air, and then next week we'll be back to the God of War. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Remember to spay new to your pets, adopt them shop, donate to rescue if you can afford it, or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals rest out. They're very much need. Anyways, I'm Vasive. Thank you guys so much for letting me be your streamer tonight. I heavily appreciate it. And I'll catch you all next time. See ya. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you wake up. Yeah, you wake up. I know. It's getting food. Wow, that was loud.